It was that or Jason's rap song. I think we chose wisely. Blue Oyster Cult Godzilla. You ever hear of Blue Oyster Cult, Jason? No. Sounds like one of those leather bars (laughs) you hang out in. (laughs) Welcome to the podcast, Rob. Robzilla. Is it Bob or Rob? You got to speak into the microphone. The Instagram is Bob because that's all that was available, but I'd rather it be Rob. So we'll figure out a way to make that happen. I'm lucky I'm still alive after two weeks of living with uh, this knucklehead. This <laughs> lord. How did that come about, Rob? Well, yeah, I give, was... Uh, give, give us the background of what brought you down here. My friend texted me that he was moving to Florida. I said, what part? And he said, Del Rey. And I said, uh, no shit. So I said, pick me up. I just picked up everything and I just left. And um, I got here, I was staying in Airbnb for a few days, then I met you guys, and one day Jason called me and I told him, um, I gotta go, I gotta call somebody to find a hotel for the night. You no, 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 you can stay with me, you can stay with me. I'm well, that was an awfully generous offer, Jason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a great guy. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> was there a catch? Yeah, of course there was a catch, yeah. Stay with me and I'll leave you bankrupt. <laughs> Stay with me, I'll leave you bankrupt, and I'm not going to stop bugging you till you're a drug addict and need to go to rehab. <laughs> yeah, Jason will drive you to do drugs for sure. No, we had we had fun. It was it was nice waking up to four in the morning of the, <laughs> of the blender making protein shakes. That's a dedicated bodybuilder for you. Yeah, right, right. I did say to you, though, I was saying, I you know, you got to hand it to him. Even if somebody's staying with him, he's not going to let them yeah, rightfully fuck so. up his routine. If you're staying there, that's what you get. <laughs> you get kind of respect that. <laughs> yeah, right. But you so. Are fucking... so you always get up at four in the morning to make a shake? Yeah, every morning. Do you go back to sleep or are you up? I'm up. <laughs> How many pros do that? Yeah. Get up at four to make a shake. How much does he actually sleep? Uh, I would say like four hours total a day. <laughs> <laughs> like two hours during the night, maybe around like you know uh, three to five, and then during the day he'll come. During the day, he usually takes a nap. What the fuck? I'm man. a machine, bitch. We don't sleep. We're cyborgs. We, we're T one hundred. Just that lack of sleep will make you insane. That's that's part of the reason why you're out of your fucking mind. Woo! We don't care. Good. No, hey, if you don't, I don't. Doesn't affect me, buddy. Except when you come to the gym acting like a complete buffoon, but... It's, it's sick. We're used to that after 10 years of this shit. I'm already drowned in the piss, everybody. Leonard, you all right? What do you mean by all right? You're staring off into space. It looks like you're in a, a vortex. I might be. <laughs> <laughs> Did you kick in? Well, um, the focus for the rubies been just overwhelming me, so... You know like the process I'm in the size mode I got two more months less than two months June 1st you start to cut yeah so I start to start to shred shred yeah that's when we'll see you in the gym at 6 a.m. doing the treadmill right yeah most likely I'll I'm gonna start to start off with the stairs why don't I give away all my secrets but oh. Jason what are you gonna do yeah, if, please don't if the night of the ruby they invite you to uh, perform at the Apollo theater what are you gonna do you know what the Apollo Theater is? No. Uh, He's just fucking clueless. <laughs> a rock, a rock yeah. studio. It's it's one of the most famous theaters in New York City. It's in Harlem. Yeah. Did you ever go there when you lived there, Andrew? No. Did you ever go to Harlem? Yes. I used to buy all my sneakers in Harlem. No kidding. Yeah. So you must have seen a lot of tan tan tens walking I around. D- I did. Wow. Tan tan twos, <laughs> tan tan fives. Right. <laughs> Anything ranging from one to ten. I'll bet. So would you do the Ruby or would you perform at the uh, Apollo Theater? It depends. It depends how much De Niro people are throwing at me. There you go. Well, I don't think anyone at the Ruby is going to be throwing you any. We could bring Tyler De Niro, uh, the one that shot Andrew Kalora's 650 bench video. He's his nephew of Robert. Is his last name De Niro? Yes, Tyler De Niro. Tyler, yeah. You can only hope and dream to be like him, Brian. You know it. Okay. <laughs> born, born into a, 
into a famous family. So what are your what are your impressions of Delray Beach so far? What do you think? I absolutely love it. Um, Atlantic Ave is great. Downtown is great. Um, now that I don't have somebody yapping calculations into my ear 24-7, I can enjoy it a little bit more. Give me an example. Like what? If I get this many subscribers, how much will I make? How much am I going to make in five years? How many percent of Americans make that? And then I'll just, I'll just make stuff up like 5%, 3%. Yeah. No, no. I want to see you look it up. <laughs> Imagine dealing with that for ten years. Yeah, what I was gonna ten say. Ten long yeah. years. Anybody who gives Brad shit for um, being hard on him and stuff, you, after you spend a little bit of time with him, you really understand it. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, they see it in the videos, but it's it's way worse off camera. It's just fucking relentless. I'm a relentless machine. Yeah. That's you're a good attribute. Relentless in the gym. You're lucky, relentless you're at home eating. We can tolerate you. <clears throat> what are you well, gonna do? What are you gonna do? When we're all not here one day. Just gonna wander around and pester anybody you see. No. <laughs> who's gonna take care of you when mommy's gone? I will. Yeah. Yeah. So who's this chick who's singing vocals in your in, in a studio with you? What's her deal? She's a uh, famous underground rap chick. Famous underground rap chick. Yep. Who why in the fuck would she collaborate with you? Because she likes me. Uh, why does she have to go underground to do that? Who dis- <laughs> did, 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 did she did she discover you or did you discover her? We both discovered ourselves. <laughs> no, but I'm saying, did you reach out to her or did she reach out to you? We both reached out to each other. How? how through how? T- through message. <laughs> That's simple shit right there, bro. Simple shit. Who paid for that studio time? They did. Of course. <laughs> You're not reaching your pocket. What did you get out of that? Did you get a single? Where- I got a single. I got a song out of it. Yeah. Where is it at? It's on, you, it's on YouTube. Play Please don't. They paid I, a lot, too. They paid like 75 an hour for that session. No yeah. shit. Yeah. I, you sent me the fucking thing. I watched it for 30 seconds. I had to shut it off. <laughs> You're just shouting like an asshole. I sound like the 69 Eminem style baby. 69 M and M. 69 the rapper and Eminem. I sound like them hardcore. You know, you know who you sound uh, like? Here's a blast from the past. I don't know how many people out there listening to this are going to know who I'm talking about. Does anyone remember 50 Tyson? Yes. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. 50. You gotta go <laughs> go on YouTube and you'll find a video from like 10 or 11 years ago. I'll pass. I think I showed it to you. Didn't I show you 50 Tyson? Uh-uh. This, this I would g- remember that. <laughs> he calls himself that because he thinks he looks like a combination of 50 Cent and Mike Tyson. Oh, God. And you can tell he's a little off. And he took himself seriously as a rapper. And he actually, I think, became a sensation. I think he appeared in a few videos. You can become the next 50 Tyson. Yeah. Go on YouTube and look him up, maniacs. You can have a... a What's it called? A rap off. I guess that's. I guess that's where we're at. We just encourage the fucking yeah. Yeah. asinine behavior. He's gonna do it anyway. Right, yeah. So fuck what's, it. What's the point of getting aggravated anymore? The guys from the studio loved them. They, they I'm loved sure them they more. did. Yeah. <laughs> Until they spend more than an oh, hour. Brad, with do you want to make a little bet here, everyone? If Jason happens to make it big, I don't know what that means, but. Will you change your tune and get, offer an apology? No. I mean, not that the stuff is... I don't, well, I'm, not apo- I'm not apologizing. But I'm just saying, if he makes it big He's financially... He's an asshole and he knows it. Shut up, asshole. <laughs> and if I make it big, you're on the water. Good, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but like I said on the last podcast, if all these other morons who wear gold teeth and put tattoos on their faces and color their hair rainbow fucked up colors can make it and become millionaires, why can't Jason... Doing this nonsense. Yeah. I mean, Seriously. Yeah. It's a different audience that he's going after with the music. Right. Yeah. It's a hot mess industry. <laughs> but Jason, it's a hot mess industry. If I can interject, you don't want to be a cookie cutter. You always want to do something nobody else did. Yeah, that's what I am. I understand you ordered a grill, whatever that is. He wants is to true? be he wants <laughs> to he's be, already got it. Lenny, he wants to be rich. He wants money. And this is the fastest way to get it. I think being a cookie cutter. He's very easily influenced by all the bullshit that he sees on there, like these idiot kids running around with stacks of money just wishing to get fucking robbed and killed and shit. Ooh, you think it's yeah, uh, yeah let me carry around a fucking 
fucking you know million dollars in cash and throw it around. <laughs> that's true, Jason. They have an underlying criminal element that's into that type of stuff. You will get rolled so. They fucking will. Fast. I mean, that's always He's worried too about cheap you. To pay for bodyguards or anything. If you were to go to a if you were to go to a venue, Jason, say somewhere locally around here, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm, Miami, Overtown, what have you. You I'm know, all I'm guards. saying, I'm well, yeah. I would get very trustworthy because bodyguards will turn on you. Know, they're the ones who usually set up the robberies because they're not getting paid much. I wouldn't Especially trust if those. They're working for you, I've been around security and bodyguards, but I wouldn't much. trust any of those. No way. They'll never get your back. You know. I'm just coming out with my album. It's fun and I enjoy it. If you get on World Star Hip Hop or something like that, you get a lot of fans. Maybe yeah, cool. maybe you can rap on stage at the Ruby as you pose. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. Like a like a new division. <laughs> the rap division. Yeah. The LL Cool J of bodybuilding. <laughs> <laughs> and then Leonard can come out and throw you off the fucking stage. <laughs> it would be hilarious. <laughs> Yeah. Hopefully there's a sniper there. <laughs> I, I, would, I would like Jason to go. What are they when he goes through the crowd and they carry him around? You know, what do they call that? You jump into the crowd at the Ruby. Crowd surfing. Yeah, crowd surfing. Oh, that's a fabulous. <laughs> <idea>. <laughs> it's great. That's right. Take a running start and jump. Dale, Dale <laughs> Jance <laughs> made crowd sur- uh, crowd God, surf against his own will. If you know what I'm talking about. Oh, you want to throw Dale off the stage? <laughs> <laughs> there I am. When he's in that lightweight yeah, division exactly. too, he'll go You're flying. Like, Jason, what are you doing? What are you doing with your arms in the studio? What is that? Oh, it's just high. It's like you're shaking fake maracas. So, oh, is that another Jack video? <laughs> no, it's, no, it's when he's in the studio rapping and he's flailing his arms around. <laughs> like, like, Mike what is that? <laughs> I have never seen him so hyped up. You were there, right? Yeah, at the studio. I think he was. It was a combination. He was a little bit nervous being in that environment. Um, a little nervous, and then like he just really wanted to impress people. I've never seen him that hyped up. <laughs> was there a lot of people there? Was, mm, only like five or six. Yeah. All cookie cutters, but porch yeah. monkeys. I'm not the cookie <laughs> porch monkeys. <laughs> They're gonna listen to us. <laughs> we don't care about porch monkeys. Jay- We're freaks. Jay- you can't even rhyme. That's what rapping is, is rhyming. Why don't you rhyme your words? Uh, excuse me. What I, I'm actually it? getting an education here. Oh, okay. About uh, what? Explain this whole thing to me, Brad, about the rhyming and what sounds good, because you said something earlier. It's not about sounding good. That's what it is, is rhyming. What defined good is in this genre? I didn't say good. I said that's what they. that's what rap is. Is is rhyming? Right. He's not rhyming anything. Who cares? That's right. Okay, wait, Jason. What's the difference? Th- think, I don't know why I even. Hold on. Think of three words that rhyme with cares, and use them in a in a bar. Okay. Right. So who cares now? Who cares? Who doesn't care? And who <laughs> no. <laughs> you can't use the same word twice. Of course he can. He's a Jason, fucking mental midget. Th- th- think of three words. Think of what name a word that rhymes with care. Care. What? No care. Oh. My God. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not letting this go. Think of a word that rhymes that rhymes with care. I fucking can't. Caring. I got one for you, real quick. I can't. I can't. What? In the f- I can't. It rhymes. What Here, sounds Jason, like care? Try this. Who cares? Look at my hair. I look like Ric Flair. Woo! <laughs> there. That, you get it? Yeah, yeah, try it. So, Brad, now Jason, I... don't get the door. You're going to take me over to the studio now since I rhyme? Yeah, that's since actually I'm so great talented? Idea, You'd be better than Take him. me to the studio? He's going to take you. I don't know where it's at. Have have your new boyfriend, Rob Zilla, take you. <laughs> so the, Is that a Freudian oh. slip, Brad? Lenny, I Is think... Is that how you think about Rob <laughs> in a sexual manner? <laughs> Lenny, you should be in that rap studio, not Jason. Do that again. With care, Ric Flair, my hair. Do that again. Who cares? I sound good. Who Rob. cares? Look at my hair. I look like Ric Flair. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Who is that, Eric? Yeah. What's up? Hey. hey. What's up, What's up man? We got some whiskey too. Right. Let's see. So, while we were at the studio, um, that Nipsey Hustle guy. What's up, buddy? What's up, man? How you doing? Nice to see you. That Nipsey Hustle guy died. And right. One of the people at the never studio never heard of her. Exactly. Was friends with was friends with him. So I was trying to get Jason to say, "Well, too bad. He deserves what he get. He gets what he gets." But deserves you know. gets what deserves. Yeah, gets what deserves. So. 
Wow, this is the most people we've had at the table for a podcast. Yeah, I think hours. so. I think so, yeah. yeah. Every seat is taken. We're, we're six. You can put those in the fridge. Six right? heads deep, as they say in the hood. They don't have that type of beer in Sweden? Yeah, they do. They do. No kidding. Yeah. Pick your mic Yeah, because yeah, probably half the country is a spick now. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. They're not from Europe. No. <laughs> All right, Jason. Somebody want a beer? Yeah, they come I have an IPA as well. Come on, one or verse that rhymes with care. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Just one. Hmm? Care, care, uh, nature boy Ric Flair, you know my flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Better. Yeah. They're trying to teach Better. him how to actually rhyme. Yeah. Okay. Which, this is a complete fucking train wreck. But you now understand time. what a rhyme is, yeah, right? Yeah, Okay. I'm going to get better. So, like piss, kiss, yeah. care, flare. Ice cream. Ice cream. What does ice cream rhyme with? Yogurt. (laughs) 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 Corona's good. I'll take Corona. Actually, yeah. No, I'll take. I never do want a beer. I'm okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Jason, you want a beer? No, no thanks. Why not? They're free. No no thanks. (laughs) They're free. (laughs) 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 Where's beer rhyme with? Alcohol. You, he does not fucking get it. He's who cares? Give me a hot mess. I'm talented the way I'm not a cookie cutter like all these rappers. I'm different. Yeah, so th- that's, that'll take you to the top, in yeah, my opinion. I'm you don't have to rhyme your words. Perfect. Yeah, I'm different, bro. I'm, the, I'm unique, man. I, I express my feelings how I express them. Fuck yeah, it. I think you ought to take your shirt off and coat and hit a few poses while you're doing too. Start getting that. Should I do it? Uh, I think I should do it. <laughs> what? <laughs> take my shirt off and pose. While saying. you're rapping, yeah. Who gives a fuck? We'll do it. You, you need a fa- it? you need a face tattoo. Yeah, I'll get a yes. fake one. That'd be perfect. Let Leonard draw something on your face. <laughs> <laughs> you got that? You got a gold marker, right? Yeah. Leonard, draw something on his face for him. <laughs> Give him some teardrops. <laughs> For every co- for every coat he's killed, give him a teardrop. <laughs> every coat killer. Isn't that what the gangbangers do? They get a teardrop every time they kill someone. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you can get a teardrop for every means. every coat you've wasted. <laughs> wasted. They'll, so they'll run all the way down to your chest. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a coach now, Jason? No, I don't. I don't compete. I don't do shows that much anymore. You, you, ju- you just announced that you're going to do the Ruby. I might do the Ruby, but I don't need a coach. I don't, I don't know. Lenny, why don't you come as rapping coach? Yeah, that would be better. Yeah, it doesn't take much. I mean, what you need to do is call out one of those human filth. <laughs> you know, get some controversy. Because that one thing, you know, 20 years ago, they idolized another fat thing up there in New York, too. You know, that fat fuck. Oh. Joe? Biggie Smalls? Yeah. Biggie Smalls. I'm not. Biggie I'm not saying that name. He's dead, you dumb shit. <laughs> Who cares? You want me to hit a bar? Right? You want me to hit a bar? Right? Just, that a just, yeah, hit a bar. <laughs> Biggie like Joe, you ain't nothing but a wankster, baby. You know the flavor, baby. I got rim ice cream, baby. You know it, baby. You ain't. You got Andrew, shot by a drive Andrew, 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 tell me where your guns are at, please. <laughs> please. Top drawer, bedroom, right side <laughs> of the bed. Ooh. Leonard's about to throw up. How fucking terrible was that? Actually, I'm throwing up just thinking about the whole mess of them. You know, years ago, sitting in a, working in a nightclub, and they would come in with what they call an entourage, and people were just kissing their ass left and right. And one guy said something, I just turned my head like, you're a piece of shit, you don't even look at me. You know, of course, unless he's giving me a tip or something. But, oh, it was just disgusting. That twinkle, what's that little fucking twink's name? It was a twitch. Oh, God. Oh, you met Biggie Smalls? Rapper? No, that one <laughs> trick daddy. Got out, oh, got out of this SUV in 2002. Me and Andrew are working at a Miami club. Gets out of this SUV and starts looking around. Like, here I am. And it's like, look at it, what the fuck? Look at little crackhead. He said something to me. I just turned my head. and Like, don't, don't even look at me, you know? And then he's talking to me, coming up and telling me, Two hundred dollars or something. Go and smack this guy in the head or something. Like, well, yeah, let's see the money first. Total piece of garbage. Where was that at? Downtown Miami, South Beach. Did you meet anyone else, Rob? You met Emma, right? Yeah, I met Emma at, at Planet Fitness. Okay. Yeah, Leonard said you chased her out of the gym. 
<laughs> no, no. Well, he went up to see her the same time. She got scared. Look, no, she didn't get scared. Look at the harassing me now. Is that Snapchat? That's Instagram. Did you meet Big Richard? No, no. Where is he? I don't wake up that early. <laughs> <laughs> Did you meet Synthol Mark? No. I will say Emma is, is uh, hotter in person. She's Whoa. looking thick lately. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have seen her uh, when we um, were working out in... Um, Planet? No, the, they have mirror in, in the roof. Oh, the old Palm, Palm Beach, Beach gym. gym. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We did see her. I, I recognize her, but she, she doesn't know who I am, so it's kind of funny. Was she like a year ago or something? See, I had the balls to chase her down. <laughs> yeah, you did. She was standing behind the desk like she was working or something. Mm-hmm. Probably That's sucking right. some guy off behind the desk. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> what? Me, me, and me and my girl had a good time. We went out oh, she's, she's your girl again? We always been. What'd We've you guys do? Dating for four months. What'd, What'd you guys oh, do, no, Jason? Okay. What do we do? What do yes. we do? We yes. went to dinner and we had, we had a fun time at privacy in our cuddling and watching TV. And I, had a and then I gave her my her gift. What was that, your dick? No. <laughs> a, a, a $500 Spider-Man autograph by Stan Lee. Did you, nice. re, did you re-gift her that green dildo you got the other day? I showed it to her. She laughed. <laughs> Not big enough for her. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you go out to eat? <laughs> we, went out to, um, <clears throat> um, we went out to Duffy's. Oh, we were there as well with Pumps. Big Rob. No, we were there last night, the one in, um, the one in down on, uh, uh, down Forest Hill Boulevard. Oh, up all the way up there? She yeah. lives in West Palm? No, she lives in, uh, Lantana or Lake Worth. Oh. Yeah. Oh, we had a good time. She left about 12, 1 o'clock. She went back to your house? Yeah, we had a, had a time alone. Oh, so alone. you were happy I was gone yesterday? Yes, I was. Thank you very much. Thank the Lord, right? <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> is that why? Is that why she didn't come around? Because she, knew you had him there, basically. Oh, yeah, okay. ba- yeah, right, right. <laughs> you could have drilled a hole in the wall and jerked off to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I did get to meet her though. And Jason came up to me, put a lightsaber to my neck, and he said, you know, I'm, I'm dating her, right? <laughs> did you just recoil in fear? <laughs> I did, yeah. There's nothing quite, those lightsabers nothing quite do as scary people. as having a fake lightsaber put to your neck. <laughs> that, that, that's got to be pretty menacing. It is a fake one, <laughs> asshole. There's no such thing did as a Did you just say it's lightsaber. real? It's the real prop one. It's a prop. <laughs> What's prop mean? Prop means movie made. I'm Not sure some man. armies do have them in their arsenal just as a test weapon. I'm sure they are out there, though. Bullshit. No there are. The militaries and countries, yes, there's weapons true. that they develop that nobody possible. knows about. Yeah, that's true. I've seen on the internet. Yes, there is. Have, have, anything's right. possible with the military. It is the, the test military. weapon they do. I see they may have a I few things just too. for the hell of well, a real like saying. Brad, absolutely. Jason, Jason and Lenny are saying it's true, so it's true. Sorry, I'm I'm gonna lose this argument. Sorry, Brad. That's what military. They have double. They have test weapons. You know how it's real? I'll explain. I saw you do. It's a fire flame. It comes out as a laser beam, like a lightsaber. Yeah, and it's a test test weapon. It's attached to a a string into the ground. Wouldn't a laser beam keep going? It's a laser beam fire laser. It's true. They do have laser beams as well. Yeah, it's true. You'd be surprised what the military it's true. has. No shit, they have laser beams. But we're talking about a, a fucking lightsaber. But they make it it's out of It's not possible. They have some. They do have some. Uh, okay. I'll type you don't know science. That's right. That's Jason, that. Yeah, who, 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 but is it practical, I, Brad? Why you gotta, you listen to me? You've got to get up close. Oh, I mean, really? I, unless you could shoot a, a, lightsaber. Some, a laser like a, like a gun... You know, how does the thing stop? They don't want to make anything where you have to get up close. Go. How does it? How would it stop when it comes out? So, homemade lightsaber. Shoot it. Shoot homemade. It. Right here. No, but how, how, how would, they, how would the that, sword that, stop? When ask, it comes right the, ask the military engineers. There don't ask homemade. me. Well, if you guys I'm know just saying it, 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 they it, have it. it. it you this. saw it. Look. Yes. Bullshit. Homemade lightsaber. Jason right found it on YouTube. It's legit. It's legit. It's <laughs> legit. Let's cut through something. Yeah, I want to see this as well. This is a fucking Star Wars clip. What is no, this? It's Star Wars it's music. A, this is a source of light, it's so it go, keep going. This is exactly. Music. It makes no sense. It's true, though. It's legit. It's a homemade lifesaver. Okay. Built 2500 okay. Yep. Why don't you buy it, then? Have, have Rob Zilla buy you that next. <laughs> he will. What are you watching? Nobody wants to hear that shit. I can't skip the ads. 
Oh. oh, what's wrong, Jason? You don't like all these ads in the video? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Are they chapping your ass? <laughs> Yeah, look, he you're builds, skipping the he ads. Builds this, he builds it homemade, look. So no, don't skip the ads, Jason. Yeah, yeah, you got to yeah, watch them. He can poke against that body with, and then we can get on with our day. So. It's just so stupid. This is just a temporary battery box. Okay, so I'm going to narrate this. It's two dorks in a garage, it looks like, <laughs> uh, with a black box. Looks like it's hooked up to an electrical cable. One of them is holding a long pole attached to a cable. Fucking idiocy. Looks like a sword. Now they're using cool lightsaber sound effects. All I have to do is plug in this red, red wire and we'll be live. Uh, one note, we're actually running this at 150 volts DC at the moment, which is technically... Why are you looking like you know what that means? <laughs> it's fire, the look amazing. on Jason's face is great. <laughs> he has no clue what those numbers are. It's voltage, bitch. <laughs> Any videos on the Tooth Fairy, Jason, that you want to show us? Yeah, no shit. Turn that shit off. No, no I'm, I'm done. It's fi you're not showing. I can't see anything from over Just here. Wait. It's, it's not possible. You know, it is possible. You're wrong. Are you, like, are you testing it on, on things? Like, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. I mean, it's a toy lightsaber. What is that? No, watch, watch, watch. Oh, yeah. It's a toy lightsaber. Watch. Ready, ready. Ready, watch. Just Who watch. Cares? Just, just exactly. Watch. Who watch. cares is right. Thank you. All right, just so everyone has a frame of reference, go to the YouTube channel, The Hack Smith. It has 5.2 million subscribers. The name of the video is 2500 Degree Lightsaber Build. And you guys can watch this video yourselves. This is the light. This is like a warm inner surface. That's what it is. Oh. Nothing to do with lasers. You're wrong, Brad. You're wrong. You're wrong. No, I'm not. You're wrong, man. You're wrong. There's, no real lights, there's no real lightsaber. That is the realest lightsaber there's on the planet. I don't, care, what what planet, I don't care how many fucking subscribers they got. The tour shit. I don't like it. You don't like it because you know you're wrong. <laughs> it's, you not know. A, it's not a real lightsaber that you see in a movie. It is it's similar. Not. Watch, watch. You want to have to like put it like slowly to starting to burn. So it's not the laser. It's more like a fucking no. torch. Yes. I don't know. I'm about to YouTube how to tie a noose if you don't turn this off. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Oh, and it's not the, even wireless. It's like they have how a to dismember a dead like body. A yeah. Board connecting to it. Uh -oh. It's a hot light. Too bad, too bad Jay isn't here. He could show you how to tie one of them. Who? <laughs> Jay Can you buy me that? I want that next. It's real. You can give that. You can extort that from the next person who yeah, comes down here and Craigslist. doesn't have a place to live. <laughs> one lightsaber. Crashes with you for two weeks. Jason's Airbnb. Mm-hmm. The couch. Could you imagine the reviews? <laughs> Have you been staying at Jason's? Yeah, not anymore, fortunately. For how long? Two weeks, I think, total. What's the best thing with, with living? The, the, the best place? thing? Yeah. When he leaves? <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever think of changing the locks when he left? No, no. What's, um, the, what's, the, what's the worst thing? The worst thing is waking up to his rap music, definitely. <laughs> Wait, he plays it or he actually he raps? Blasts his it, own yeah. rap music yeah, or other? Yeah. You, you um, listen to your own? Fucking <laughs> yeah. You listen oh, to okay. yourself. One time on the way to the gym, he must have played one of his songs 30 times in a row. Back to back. And this is when I was too nice to like tell him to put my foot down and I just put up with it, you know? But after a few days, I just I gave up with that. <laughs> I thought you were going to say watching him walk around naked was the worst thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. The first day, the first day, he'll be like, don't look at me. Don't look at me, bro. I'm naked. Don't look at me. And then he'll go out and weigh himself right in front of the couch. <laughs> and then one day, one day he comes out, tie-dye shirt, no, no underwear, no pants, and just sits next to me on the couch. Are you serious? <laughs> huh? Have you seen his dick? I obviously try not to see it, but yeah, obviously he's walking around naked all day. <laughs> we don't give a two fuck. <laughs> he really doesn't. No, I know. He just doesn't give a shit. People I have the don't same experience it. with Brad when he answers the door naked, but he looks. Yeah. Every, he, well, he does it all the time now on purpose. 
<laughs> Sick fucks. Dude, you would do this. You would do the same thing if somebody was staying in your house. You'd still walk around naked and do all your routine anyway, right? Well, girls and stuff that come over were naked. You know, I answer the door naked. No, but if Rob was staying with you, would you change your routine? Uh. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably have to. Would you really? Yeah. So you're a little bit more considerate than this buffoon. No, I'm a lot more straight than this young man over here. You're a lot more straight than him? Yeah. Oh. I'm the straightest. I'm so straight. They use me as a human. <laughs> 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 You're fucked up. You can't even think straight. The fuck are you talking about? I'm always thinking straight. <laughs> okay. What? I'm gonna go now. You wanna leave? Yeah, I need a sign. I'm gonna bounce. Come on, Brad. <laughs> sign the shirt. Twenty buck. Sign the shirt. You're gonna get a hundred. PayPal twenty buck. Sign the shirt. Just PayPal the, twenty bucks. Don't put that on there, asshole. You're gonna. It's for the child. It's Come on, think of the children, the children. See, he's ma- he's making a si- making it's a sign. Making a sign. Anyway. Sign the shirt. Child. He's saying it's for a child. Yes, it's for these ones. A child that wears a size what? Large. <laughs> yeah. It's for an eight-year-old. You sign the t-shirt. There's no fucking eight-year-old that wears that size. Unless they're saying. freaks. Sign the T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, don't be a baboon. Sign the t-shirt. Jay, don't put it on top of that. All right. Well, here, just walk it over here. Yeah. Frank the Tank, I'm not answering your Snapchat This is right more now. exciting than when the president signs a bill. The treaty. <laughs> the <laughs> anticipation. It's, it's more exciting than signing the treaty. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even say please. Kim Jong-un. You don't even say please, please or thank you or nothing. Please, You're please. an ungrateful little cop. No, I want to say please. Do it right over <laughs> Brad. Sign it right over his face. <laughs> That would be funny. Please, Brad, with ice cream on top. <laughs> what does this say? What is that? Chase, Devin, and Ray. Ray. Who, who's that? The kids. Now it's for three oh. kids? No, it's for three kids, yeah. It's for three three kids? <laughs> yeah, they, they are eight years old. So they all, they, they all going to fit in, the, in this one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They can all fit this fucking shirt. What is that? Eight years old. What did you write on here? Yeah, I just wrote it. Come on, write on it. Do it for the kids, bro. Do it for the kids. I'm think of the needy. So I can't write any profanity on it? No. Just write a nice message to the kids. It's for Davin and Chase and Ray. A nice message? I'm not doing that. Just saying Brad for the... I don't even want to do this right now. Why don't you just, just leave? Just saying Brad. That's it. What did that shirt Brad, say at the gym that Tamika, Chase, that that's Tamika didn't like? Smoke weed, fuck hoes, hail Satan? Yeah, there just you write that. <laughs> Good luck, children. Something like that. <laughs> Why'd you just fucking? He rubs his hands because he knows he's yeah. making money. Yeah. This no! is, that's the money. Yeah, yeah. You, you can hear it in the headset. Hundred dollars tomorrow. Yeah. Cha-ching! Cha-ching. <laughs> Good. Now you can leave, and we can stop talking about your stupid rat bullshit and fake lightsabers. The lightsaber is real, you know. Yeah. We saw it. Me and Lenny have agreed. That's not what I was referring to, but it's, it's yeah, close, close enough. enough. Yeah. I was just talking about military grade secrets. That was military grade secrets. Let me let you out, Secret Sith Lord. Military grade secret bullshit. Okay, I'm glad you didn't have relations with Cynthia last night. You know why? We would have called you the Sith Lord. What? Syphilis, get it? Oh my fucking god. You know I'm recording right now, you stupid shit. Oh, has that ever stopped me in the past? I had a boy. I'm gonna pick my Pull my pants down and watch your eyes drop like an elevator. <laughs> All right, Jason. Um, perform got a full house tonight. Performing on stage at the Grammys in front Sky of the entire world, too. or a wild, passionate night of hot sex with Cynthia. Which do you want? You have to choose right Cynthia. now. Forget performing at the Grammys. Your hit single, "Piss," it's piss. It's piss. Yeah. Forget. So you'd rather have one hot, sizzling night of sex with with Cynthia. Yeah. There you go. Wow. <laughs> hey, hey, All wait, right. wait. He left. Now you can ask you, send your questions <laughs> or comments in. All right, so talk to me. We're still rolling. And now um, he's leaving. I can really go in on him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> now that he's gone, let's hear it. Yeah, no, speaking of the rubbing of the hands, that's, that's how you know you're getting extorted. Once the hands start coming oh, together, yeah. 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 
you know, a sales pitch is about to go down. You got bent over good, didn't you? How much did you spend? Um, total in two weeks, at least a thousand on them. Because if at first it started like, all right, I'll stay for you know this week and buy this one thing, but then all day long is buy me this, buy me that, buy me this, buy me that. One day I lost it on them, and um, no, twice I lost it on them, and then he kind of backed off a little bit. Yeah, you got to put him in his place. Yeah, you can't let him push you too far. He always. He always pushes everybody past their limit. <coughs> yeah, right. And then he tries to blame the dis. You know, it's just my disabilities, bro. You know, it's just this or that. And yeah, this well. is the shit they send here. <laughs> huh. Nice. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read this shit. All right. So, I got a package sent. Big Brad Wolf, local fan here. There's a gift in here for Jason. It's labeled. They're all labeled. To who they are for. I spent a lot of time looking for Jason's gift. Make him come to the podcast and please go live on Instagram. He came to the podcast, but we didn't go live on Instagram. He actually, we filmed it in his video the other day. You'll see it. When he opens it, it is a menti gift. Cucumber related and came from an adult toy store. It's a fucking green dildo. It's, It's funny. He liked it, actually. There's a gift for Lenny and you also. Nothing for Andrew. Andrew is not my mentor and can drop dead. <laughs> Good. I'm reti- hooey, hooey, hooey. I'm retired as a mentor. Just a little gag. Please plan another trip with everyone using GoFundMe, Patreon, donations, or whatever that, uh, there is out there where we can donate to a Misfits trip. I'm not a troll, Reddit hater, or any of that, but just a regular fan. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to let you go. Okay, peace out. Bye. From a bolt thrower 62 Thanks, buddy. That's Thanks for the. He, he sent me the leather hat and a fucking whatever that vest thing is that's going to Leonard. All the leather gear I get goes to my to my leather bitch Leonard. I'm the leather daddy. <laughs> One day he's, my, he's a leather slave. You will regret that. All right, and we got another one here from Hugh. Dear Bard, this is a small token of appreciation for all the shit you tolerate in the name of our entertainment. It's also a bribe attempt for you to somehow trick Lenny into listening to the Crypto Weekly podcast. Did you listen to that? No, I didn't get the opportunity, but I will. British web developers have mentioned you, Lenny, and the Misfits several times on their podcast. Enough so that they convinced me to listen to all the Misfits stuff despite you seeing you freaks locally at L.A. for years. I've also included some sterile medical supplies to hopefully keep Lenny alive long enough to listen to the podcast and say something cliche, like it's cookie cutter. Thanks for the crown. Crown XR, that's a nice fucking bottle. We're going to have some shots soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we'll check on that Crypto Weekly podcast. I'd like this opportunity to mention Buy Research Liquids, all your peptide needs. Dot net, right? Yes. And... New World Nutritionals, probably the finest, purest proteins on the market right now, and the very best liver cleanser, gallbladder rinse you could buy on the market. I need some more protein from them. Just real quick here, I want to say that if any maniacs out there who listen to the podcast, you guys have heard me bitching about my shoulder now for a long time, and I finally got my MRI result back. I have a, It's called a slap tear of my right labrum. And if any maniacs have any experience dealing with a slap tear of the labrum, have you had surgery? Have you not had surgery? Um, I'd love to hear your story because I'm contemplating surgery over the summer. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I haven't lifted a weight in over six weeks, going on two months, and it's fucking hell. Um, I'm in pain all the time. So I'd love to hear some stories from maniacs out there about dealing with a torn labrum. Did it doing hammer strength. I think I told the story. Doing hammer strength rows at the gym working out with Jason back at the end of December and put off getting an MRI, couldn't take it anymore. So I finally did it and you know, torn labrum. Can't lift my arm over my head, it sucks. It's a bitch, man, when you're used to being healthy. So anyone with experience out there, please hit me up, message me, I'd like to hear your story. And you know, did you have surgery? Did you do rehab? Did you try PT? What, what did you do to get through it? And what was your result? Let's chop it off.
I'm thinking about it, <laughs> <laughs> or just become hooked on oxys. Yeah, it's... I know. We, I, now I know why people get hooked on painkillers. Let me tell you, you know, when you're in pain 24 hours a day, holy shit! You know, when you're not used to being in pain. What they give you? Um, he originally gave me. It's a. It was a prescription for. It was a. It was an anti-inflammatory as well as an anti-inflammatory gel to rub into it. It helped a little bit. He did not prescribe any painkillers. I don't want any unless I get surgery. And then obviously I'll need them. So I actually did speak to Dale about it for about an hour on the phone. I just wanted to pick his brain a little bit here about some of the procedures he had. Why come it took an hour? <laughs> what? <laughs> pick his brain? <laughs> <laughs> it took an hour because I had to listen to him talking to him. Maybe at, oh, you probably uh, had to tell him brain, what it is. And, uh, okay. <laughs> Starting from scratch. Uh, he was telling me how he tore both biceps and he had to get that. Uh, well, rip. 50, 59 of those minutes were him talking about himself, right? Basically, <laughs> about Fuck how, you, how, how miraculous his recovery was. Um, so I think the problem is I, you can, if you do the surgery, mm -hmm. um, you might get rid of the pain. But when you do the surgery, you can have the like, scar tissue like growing on the labrum. And then you can maybe you can't lift like you once. Did. I don't. I don't give a shit about lifting. No. I just want to have a normal, healthy shoulder again. If I never lifted another weight, I wouldn't give a flying fuck. So, yeah. It's the last thing on my mind right now is going back to this. Do you gym. ever want to be able to shoot a basketball again? Don't care. This is strictly about quality of life. Looking ahead, I don't want to be sixty years old or fifty-five and have no right shoulder usage. You know, I, I do not care about lifting weights right now or any point in the future. This is just a quality of life thing. You know, it's funny because I, I spend so many hours reading these different forums and message boards um, with people interacting with each other who have similar injuries. And all they talk about is, oh, I, I have to get back to mountain climbing or my CrossFit. I don't know what I'm going to do. And I just think their priorities are totally screwed up. It's like a drug to them. You know, take care of yourself and think about just being able to wipe your ass <laughs> or jerk off yeah, before yeah, you even... Shit obsess over doing things like crossfit or mountain climbing or there's one message board i read dedicated to archery and people who can no longer perform archery because they have a torn labrum and, no I, so what do you think about like doing rehabs for a couple of weeks month and that's what i'm doing maybe there's only th that's what i'm doing now but there's only one problem now i don't only have the torn labrum but i also have what's medically known as frozen shoulder I don't know if you ever heard of that. Yeah, I know what it is. It, it's horrible. It's like literally having only one arm. So you can't even lift that. No, no. I was showing these guys before my how fucked up it looks when I try to raise my arm up and get any kind of abduction. When did you it, get that? Hmm? Like when did you get that? That came on about four weeks ago because I was nursing the injured shoulder so much and the lack of movement mm -hmm. caused it to freeze up. You get um, adhesions and scar tissue, the doctor was explaining to me, build up in your shoulder capsule. So I got a, a cortisone shot five days ago to try to just <laughs> alleviate that and it's done little to nothing. And it, it made you, well, spooked you out too. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if anyone here has ever got a cortisone shot, but some people get horrible side effects and I was yeah, one I, of them. Did you get side effects from it? Give him Not the mic? so much, no. Sir? Uh, give, give him the mic. Uh, no, I just uh, have a shot in my knees, but it didn't help. No side effects at all. Okay. See, he's from Sweden. He doesn't sound like Borat. How come? Who's that? I'm oh, Borat. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hamburg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it depends. He's okay. coming in, what, you, two months? Yeah, you'll be uh, he's funny. Yeah. What are the side effects some of the cortisone that some people get? The only ones I got, um, I got the cortisone shot at 9 in the morning on a Friday. Actually, I got two. I got one in my shoulder and one for my bicep tendon. Um, and I woke up. Were the shots itself painful? No, not at all. It's just weird. You, you feel your shoulder capsule inflating like a water balloon. It's a very strange yeah. sensation, but there's no pain. Um, so I woke up at 2 in the morning, um, heart <coughs> pounding out of my chest, sweating, flush red, um, jittery, lightheaded, disoriented. I almost called 911, but I calmed myself down and I, I Googled side effects for a cortisone shot. And by the way, it would have been nice if the doctor had explained this shit to me before yeah, no I got shit. the shot. You know, there might be some side effects. Is it something you're supposed and, to read? They give you like no, a pamphlet you didn't, or something? no, you didn't give me anything. And um, yeah, those are some pretty typical side effects that people get. I think it's more from the local anesthetic that they include in the shot as opposed to the cortisone itself. 
you know, they, a doctor can use his discretion and use any combination of cortisone to anesthetic ratio. ratio. And he must have given me a big dose of the um, local anesthetic. Lasted about 36 hours, then I went yeah. away. That's yeah. the problem. It doesn't help you. I got cortisone shot in my back, and I got just a bad reaction. My whole body turned fucking red. I think that's called a cortisone flare Yeah. medically. That's it only lasted a day. But yep. You, you never had a cortisone shot? Once in my back. Did it help? No. <clears throat> Woke up in the middle of the night 10 years ago, I was pissed, and I couldn't move. Couldn't twist and turn. I was like, what the hell? No oh, shit. Rob, how old are you? 26. How long have you been lifting? Since I was 12. Any injuries? Any, anything you ever experienced? No. Who got you on the weights at 12? Your dad or you? <clears throat> watching, uh, <coughs> watching wrestling. Wanting to be like them. Yeah. Who was your favorite wrestler of all time? You know, probably Stone Cold, The Rock, but um, <clears throat> Shawn Michaels was a big one when I was really young, yeah. What? Watching his old <laughs> <stuff>. <laughs> <laughs> He's a sexy boy. He's just a boy toy. Yeah. So you came out to that. Well, we'll close with that song. Hopefully we can find it. <laughs> oh, my God. You understand? I heard him and Vince McMahon used to get it on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, I was more into, you know, the guys who jump off the ladders and shit like that. That's why him. Oh, Not okay. particularly for his entrance, but... Like uh, Mankind? No, he was a you know, fat piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> he was. Yeah, he was. Remind you of anybody's physique that you know? Uh, Dale Chance. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, he, he roped another one in, Dale. Uh, now, you, now you're going to get it from Well, everywhere. at least the legs were like Dale's. Dale was, right. Dale's going to have you blocked by tomorrow. Those don't flabby worry. old lady's ass of his. And then brown <laughs> tights. Too bad the Undertaker can't throw Dale off the hell in a cell. That'd be nice. Well, like I said, he's going to be thrown somewhere. He starts pulling that shit on that Ruby <laughs> stage like he did before. where He's like wait, egging the crowd on to cheer him. Everybody will go, boo. <laughs> I, think I, I think they're going to. <laughs> Does it bug you guys when I read a couple articles on the podcast? No, go right ahead, man. You sure? Uh, anything no. but What's it about? anything from the New York Post, though, is bothersome. <laughs> <laughs> I, I picked a couple out, but you know, they've just been sitting here. I'll, I'll just read one, and I'll, I'll ask you a follow-up question after I read this, Lenny. The, car, the article is titled, Survey oh, Reveals What's at the Top of Men's and Women's Sex Bucket List. Oh. Mm-hmm. If you've ever gotten lucky in a car, whispered seductively over the phone, or used food in the bedroom, your sex life is the envy of millions, according to new research. A survey of 2,000 Americans found a huge number have a sex bucket list with certain things they would love to be able to kick off, tick off. At the top of American sexual bucket list, are having sex in a car, 30%, sex in a body of water, 27%, and using a sex toy, 25%. So, Lenny, do you have something you like to knock off your sex bucket list? Well, it's funny you said that because I, right. I was at my sister's 50th birthday party over the weekend, and my cousin oh, yeah, how'd that go? asked me, it was all right, my cousin, she asked me, so, Lenny, you're turning 50 in a few years. What's on your bucket list? I said, my what? <laughs> Actually, psh. what was your answer to her? Uh, I just, oh, she just something else. But I told, uh, am I, if I could go that cookie cutter route and call it a bug, something I wanted to try? Hell. Uh, Sex bucket 16 list. 16 year old hood rats, 10 on one. <laughs> ten of them, ten of them, and one on me. Anything well, goes. Keep hanging out with Jason, and you might, you know, he might yeah, be right. surrounding himself with these. Why do you have to hood say rats? Because I did, and that's true, true statement there, Mister. I'm gonna get Jesus shot just for being friends with you guys after this podcast. <laughs> Good, it's a great way to die. You'll be a martyr like that fat piece of shit porch monkey <laughs> in Brooklyn, that fat rapping pig that they have statues <laughs> everywhere for. They have statues Piece of garbage. No, I'm sure they, they have do. Murals. Like he's some kind of god. 
I remember he was said something. The girls piss himself when they see me. And this black girl whatever told him, you know what? I shit myself when I see you. It's on YouTube somewhere. <laughs> you hear that, Dale? You said that too in your truck. That's what we'll have to play going Whoever will be pissing himself in the ruby seats when they see you come out with that ripped body, I'm sure. Women spit their <clears throat> chewing tobacco out when they see Dale. Oh. <laughs> so, Brad, what's on the Brad bucket list? What kind of strain of cannabis are we going to try? <laughs> <laughs> sticky Leonard you heard it there maniacs <laughs> <laughs> there's such a thing ah, there's all kinds so of that, that's man. medical marijuana and all the doctors <clears throat> do is can come up with a name like that isn't that great it's just goes to show it rots your brain man, there's tons of fucking names for it now such as just google it Leonard I don't want to <laughs> <laughs> why you ask who cares I'm asking the guy that would know they do have a cookie one, Girl Scout cookies. You'd like that. I like the Girl Scouts. I love <laughs> cookies. <laughs> and they could baby bird me those cookies. Uh, we were just at a restaurant eating before we got here. And tell them what this fucking fat asshole did. There was Our waitress probably has never been hit on in her entire lifetime. What'd she look like? I'd rather she not. She looked the same color as your chair. Yeah, impossible to say what I need to. She kind of looked like Barney as a black girl. <laughs> <laughs> Barney who? Barney Sanders? Yeah, Barney Sanders. And he's flirting with her the whole fucking time. Every time she, she walks built. by. Every time she walks by, I had to say that. How come every time I looked at her, she started dancing? She was not dancing. It was the way she was walking. No, she was dancing. Yeah, I would. Yeah, once Leonard complimented her, she did get. She some changed peppers. her walk. Yeah. She did. Yeah, she peppers, did. Steps, what, 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 snapping her fingers. What was the compliment? Just probably. I said, said, "Whoa." He looking said, "Looking good." Thumbs up. Looking good. Why don't you sit down and join us? So she said, "Everybody doing all right?" So it would be better if you sit down and join <laughs> us. <laughs> she just smiled and walked she away. She told me to come back, and I will. Yeah. So then we're leaving, and uh, and she's. She's disappeared, so this asshole has a great idea to go find her, and he walks into the fucking kitchen. You did not. I have been, I have been on the film. fucking video. <laughs> well, you can transfer it to Instagram so the maniacs can see, and that so-and-so up in North Carolina can see what a real man is. Tell them is. what your Instagram is. Bob underscore Zilla with an H at the end. I need to build up my following so I can get sponsored by Blackstone Labs. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a follow. Oh, Dale, Dale, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> do you realize, do you remember when Dale finally got sponsored? He said, this is the greatest thing that ever yeah. happened. To me. <laughs> Thank you so much. Are you home eating ISO cream, Dale? <laughs> <laughs> And by the way, those decon boys, pretty fucking tiny in that car, according to me. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, uh, Leonard's feeling froggy. What car? <laughs> that car that pulled up in that little video. They fit in that little... I couldn't even fit in that car, Dale. I may not even be able to fit on that stage. I'm going to be so what? big and ripped. Which video? What video? He made a new video with the decon brothers. Pulling up to the gym and Dale saying, I don't know how that they can fit in that car. He said they need a bigger car. So I messaged him. I said, you need a smaller car, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> he got butt hurt. He said, no, I'll stick with my F-250. Oh, he didn't block you? It's got no. a Hemi. Penis oh, extension. What? Penis extension. Uh, he didn't say that, but I'm uh, assuming, yeah, Hemi. <laughs> You see, the littlest guy is driving the biggest cars, flashy cars. The littlest dick's driving the... <laughs> and the guys with the biggest dick's driving the little small Toyota Camrys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Leonard, Leonard, Leonard. 
supposed to be boy. packing heat the way the women fight over you. Cut it out. Cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's what a little girl would say, Brad. You know it. <laughs> Such an idiot. <laughs> Cut it out. Because they're listening. Nobody's listening. <laughs> Taco chef. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you post anything that has any questions or no? I haven't posted anything, no. Right. Why don't you post some videos of you getting it on with these girls, for God's sake. <laughs> you should have a tape for you between you and Nate. <laughs> uh, I can't show Leonard anything anymore because he, he can't keep his mouth shut. Why would you? You're supposed to tell people. You're supposed to show them like I did. <laughs> Like I said, all the cookie cutters. Some things I'll keep to myself. What goes on in Vegas stays in Vegas. Anything that went on in Vegas, I showed the world. How's that for balls? No, actually, no. We still have that one video that no one ever saw. Yeah, there's still that video. There's still, no. We never released that video that Greg filmed. It's on my computer. Okay. (laughs) Go ahead. (laughs) Post it on your Instagram. Get deleted for another two weeks. Is it more? It's more than a minute. It's only like five minutes. Yeah, it's like right? a five-minute video. You could put it on the IGTV. He'll show you how to do that. I don't know how to do that. Bullshit. I just I just downloaded Instagram like last week. I told you to that. Me- I sent you a message before I came down here. I made that account just strictly to contact you guys for when I was down <clears> here. <throat> Where are you from? Connecticut. Same place as PJ Brown, I believe. Yeah, it is. He's from Danbury, so I asked Jason. Oh, excuse me, Danbury. It's in Connecticut. So I oh, asked excuse Jason. Excuse me. And uh, I said, PJ's from Connecticut, right? He says, yeah, I think he's from Dingleberry. <laughs> God's honest truth. <laughs> <laughs> Another good thing, Lady Gaga was on the radio, and he's like, "Man, I want to have a twosome with Lady Gaga and Natalie Portman. A twosome. A twosome. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all know he can't fucking count unless it's money. <laughs> yeah, right. So, what brings you down here? This, the sun. Mm-hmm. Um, you have a job here. No, not yet. Mm-hmm. I'm unemployed. We may have to start a GoFundMe maniacs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I told you. Did, you. did you go to the website? Yeah, I did. I did, oh. yeah. Do you have uh, education or something? Um, no, no education. I moved to Los Angeles right after high school. I thought I could just do my own thing. March the What's that? I was making websites and stuff like that out there, but after years of Adderall, my brain is fried, so... Yeah. <laughs> Look at my <laughs> of course. Here we go. I'm hearing yeah, a lot of negative yeah, things about Adderall. Right? Yeah, it's horrible. The first like two years, I was prescribed this, so the first two years was amazing. I was making my own websites, running businesses at 19, 20 years old, and then the effects start to wear off and your brain is shot, so, and then everything just started to decline. Now, I don't take it anymore. But um, you, you weaned yourself off or you, you just cold turkey? Just cold was turkey, ass. yeah. What were some of the bad side effects? Uh, Social anxiety was a huge one. I was always very, most social person in my school growing up and everything. Social anxiety while you were on it or during the withdrawal? Both. But mainly while you're on it. I went from, you know, someone who was class clown and um, had all these friends to just wanted to be in a room with a computer. Wow. Yeah, like. Anything you liked about L.A.? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's beautiful there. Obviously, the weather is great. It's like here, except without the humidity. And oh, the women there are gorgeous. To, you know. You see any 10, 10, 10s? Jesus. No. <laughs> On Hollywood Boulevard, I understand. There's plenty of them out there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Probably dressed as Batman on Hollywood Boulevard, yeah. Sounds like a good concept. <laughs> <laughs> You're so serious about it. But yeah, LA was great. That's the only place that would be worth leaving Florida for. Where are you leaving in LA? Uh, Sherman Oaks, mm-hmm. and then North Hollywood for a little bit. You see any so-called famous cookie cutter type people out there? 
Thing. Um, yeah, actually, <laughs> I went to um, Demi Lovato's house when, one her. time for 4th of July. I had no idea who, sh- who she was, so I met her and everything, and then I asked her sister, um, is your sister here? And she said, yeah, you just talked to her. I didn't know who she was, didn't care. Wow. Brad would kill to get in that situation, I think. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, it was cool. Down, but I will say, after being in Florida for a little bit, the women, there's, I think they might be hotter here. L.A. is more like they're hot, but they're probably takes them three hours every morning to get hot. Well, it also depends uh. what your type is, because there are a lot of South American, Caribbean... Latina woman in South Florida. So, yeah. you know, if you like darker skinned ladies, this is the place to be. That's right. why I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're here, huh? Yeah, basically. <laughs> I know. It's been three weeks since we did it. Three weeks or four weeks since four we did it. Four weeks. What's our excuse? Dale Chance. <laughs> <laughs> Give message to every fucking day. Podcast, podcast, podcast. Your answer was great. What did you say to one of them? Well, some guy messaged me on Facebook asking, why aren't you putting out any content? And I'm like, this thing called life has been coming at me pretty fast this past month. March was a shitty month, man. Not only did I find out I had the torn labrum, but um, anyone who's been listening to this podcast for long enough knows who Kimbo is. Well, in the beginning of the month of March, Kimbo, who is now 16 years old, was diagnosed with fibrosarcoma, and he's terminal. He's got cancer, so he's. I'm hoping he's got another two months to live. He's got a big tumor on the side that's just growing and growing, and it's... It's basically fused to his abdominal wall, so you can't excise it. Excise it, you know. He, and plus, it, it would just be horrible to do to the cat anyway. Yeah. You know, the the. It's like scooping out a, you know, a huge chunk of his skin. So, Mister, <coughs> so far he's eating great. He's in good spirits, and uh, just keep him fat and happy until he lets me know he wants to check out, and that'll be it. Yeah, man. So. Try to keep him alive for as long as I can. Put some whiskey in his yeah. water dish. <laughs> Whatever he wants to eat, I give him, spoil the fuck out of him, and that's it. Is it an indoor cat or outdoor? He's no, he's strictly though. indoor. He'll, he'll probably come out at some point. He hears some new voice. He knows Brad and Lenny. I probably but... sound like a dog, so that's why he doesn't, you know. Oh, yeah? Do you have your dog with you? No, but I know my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> you usually smell like is a dog. A, is that a Freudian <laughs> slip, Eric? Yeah. <laughs> is this something that goes on in Sweden that we don't know about? <laughs> yeah, I probably smell like a dog too. I was at Genova's house for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> smell like a fucking he's dumpster. In your DNA now. <laughs> he didn't clean that fucking thing at all, has he? No, no, he no. Why Would you he? you sleep on the couch? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's got other things going. He's making money. He does not have the attention span to clean. There's no way he can do it. <laughs> I'm so glad that somebody, a fan, came here and actually stayed with him and got you. You got yeah, full like f- fucking Delray Misfit Fantasy Camp <laughs> right there, <laughs> living with Jason Genova. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I jumped in the computer screen this month. How many uh, listeners? Yeah, that's a good have? way of putting it. Right. Yeah. What'd you say, Eric? How many listeners do you have? On this? Yeah. On I don't know, to be honest. I've never really looked at... I don't even know how to look that up. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Palms knows. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he knows. I mean, you, how many uh, subscribers do you have on Instagram? I mean, we can. one way to gauge it, I guess, some of these guys upload it to YouTube. We can probably just look at the view count. What is it? ZC I mean, only? Have some, like, well, when we, had sound, when we originally had it, we started with SoundCloud for yeah. the first 13 episodes. Yeah, I remember that. Until he went off on Martin Luther King. And le- that showed us how many downloads we got a week. And right. It was like around 15,000 at that time. Yeah. Which is a little over a year ago. Hey, you can't talk a fact about Martin Luther King now? Oh, that's real nice. Well, I'm just saying that's why we got booted. <laughs> that's real nice. That shouldn't happen. 
No shit, it should happen. I was producing facts. I wasn't saying anything that wasn't true. Well, that's about SoundCloud. It. That's their platform. And if they, that's you know. some coward cunts. <laughs> <laughs> it's people reporting it. If nobody reports it, there's not going to be. Report them. Yeah, no shit. It would be funny to see, like, where you fair, where you, where your fans is from, like Spain, yeah. you know, Sweden. Yeah. I don't know how you would. Can you look that on iTunes or no? I don't I know. Think so. Oh yeah. See where you get the hits. Yeah, I think so. Uh, the Facebook page, you could do that. Yeah, that's no. Oh, problem. you can. I didn't yeah. know that. I think you oh. can do it with iTunes as well. Do we have a Facebook page? Mm-hmm. Oh. It's like yeah. nine thousand followers or something. Oh, yeah. shit. You never yeah. do that? Yeah, no. you never. You never want to. No, I swear to God. Pretty serious and everything. Yeah. I don't I, go. I don't, on, po- I don't go on Facebook that much anyway. So I, I don't post oh. much on the Facebook page. I should, but I don't. I used to in the beginning. I only use Facebook when I'm talking to Andrew. Yeah, <laughs> we're lazy. I, we're all lazy with all this shit. Well, I posted the picture of Lenny squaring up with Hakare Souza on Facebook. Yeah, April twenty seventh, big fight. Yeah, yeah. Talk about that. That night you guys went there. Some fucking porch monkey. I don't know who he was. <laughs> oh Jesus! He said I'm so and so. I said never heard of her. You know. Which one? You took a picture with Jacare and. Rem- Oh, yeah, well, well, uh, ha- Hakare was great. Hakare seemed like he was happy someone recognized him. I was like, holy shit, Hakare Sousa. He's like, hey, what's up, man? Let's take a picture. Who do you want me to square off against in a picture? I'm like, don't go anywhere. I'm like, Lenny, get the fuck over here. So I called you over, and he probably would have stood there and let us take 20 pictures of That's him. That's great. Yoel Romero was a little more standoffish because he was leaving. He's like, I got to go. I got to go. I'm like, Yoel, one picture, please. He's like, okay, fine. Hakare could not have been nicer, man. Smiled the whole time, had a good time. And it's funny, those two are fighting each other. Yeah, you know, there. and they were hanging out together, yeah. too. That's what's funny. They probably train together. I don't see it you know, as a sport. They know how to celebrate. <coughs> I don't know if they both train at American Top Team, do they? I don't know. No, I don't you can't so. go into those fights or any fight hating somebody. That doesn't work because you get emotional. Hate is an emotion and you lose control. Adam Pollard. He's back. You hear that, Dale? Getting all emotional on the Ruby stage? He sent me an impression of yeah, Jay Master. Yeah, comes in third. <laughs> that's why Lenny talks all that shit to him. He hopes to get into his head. You looking forward to meeting Jay? I'll say yes, just because he's... No, yeah, I am. I am looking forward to meeting Jay. Maybe he can paint my toenails. <laughs> <laughs> Suck on him. Uh, I am, you know, maybe I can do some of the power lifts with him and he can give me some uh, tips and tricks. He can be your version of how Brad worships Chris O'Toole. Right, right. <laughs> the fans, some of the fans message me and they say that they, they want to know if I'm a... Uh, Jay Masters, long lost um, son. If, <laughs> they said, "Is your mom some lizard lot that Jay hooked up with?" Back <laughs> <lot>? Lot lizard <laughs> Jay. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Thanks for the correction. How I worship the guy. He gave me a deadlift program and a, a squat program that worked great. What's that guy's That's it, But deal? I would not. I would not do it. His train. He fucking squats every day. Why? I never fucking do. That. How is that guy able to walk? How is he not you crippled? Do you know, yeah, I, do, I, I do it by myself, no problem. But you have to. You know, that guy squats four hundred pounds every single damn day. day. So you have to. Once it really can. Oh, you, you can't go to fader, fader each day. It's impossible. You know, you're going to destroy your body. But if you keep it low, you can do that. No what reps is he doing a workout? I don't know. That's the thing. He's doing some kind of gimmicky stuff. I he thought you knew. No, no. He I thought he gave you programs. Yeah, but not his. He gave me just to to get my to get my numbers up on squat and deadlift. Imagine and it works. Yeah, coming it up works. to somebody it looking at him. Yeah, Here, here's a yeah, deadlift yeah. program. I guess you go fuck yourself. Stick, <laughs> hey, stick it up your ass. <laughs> That's fine. There's I, a program. How where did to you? Look like, so where did you learn how to do anything that you've done? Trial and error. You just go in the gym. You never looked and watched anything, or, or I look some girls' asses okay, and stuff. Yeah, exactly. See, go ahead. Def- yeah, it's fine. You know you're full Lick of shit. Of you're full of shit, punches. I think the best way to increase strength is to do. If we talking about squats, is to squat three times a week, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You three go, times a week. Too yeah. much. Yeah. No, 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 no. So you go around twelve reps. 
four sets one day. Very easy on Wednesday, and then you do like two. Yeah, if you do the heavy light stuff, yeah. Jay Masters yeah, yeah, incorporates yeah, that quite frequently. At one period, I was going in and just for my warm up set every single day before I would start my workout, which I put one thirty five on the bar and see how many reps I can do. Up, up until one day, I was doing like forty five reps. Ouch. And um, <laughs> I was all nat- I was all natural at the time, and my, my testosterone level, you could tell, was insane. And I was a maniac with, with girls and stuff. So anybody who doesn't so what want did to you take do with stuff, the girls specifically? <laughs> What, ask Robin? He, he sent me a he, fucking screenshot of a chick he was talking to on Tinder. It's funny. He's like, <laughs> he's like, hey, he's like, hey, do you like cocaine? <laughs> First thing, yeah. Hey, do you like cocaine? What do you ask, Dale? Have, have you seen any good movies lately? <laughs> <laughs> With me in them? <laughs> what do you ask, Dale? You want to go get a shawarma together? <laughs> what? What's a shawarma? Uh, some... some Thing, people going cookie first cutter stuff, yeah. cookie cutter stuff. I'm glad you guys don't know what it is. I'm surprised Brad doesn't know what it is. <laughs> Another person will be on there. Yep. Rob Zilla is going to create a profile for you. Did you do one for Jason? He wouldn't do it. <laughs> he said he's a gentleman. He doesn't do things like that. <laughs> yeah, he shoves cucumbers up his ass, but he doesn't go on dating guys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Such a gentleman. So any recent visits to the pink? No, no. Not at all. No, not at all. Yeah. Just trying to gain size and, you know, I just don't really, no, not at all. And that's really never felt like doing it, honestly. At this point in time, it's probably a good thing. I think we have just one strip club in Sweden. One or two. One strip club in yeah, Sweden. Where is it? Two. Stockholm? Yeah. In the whole country? Yep. I already have a lot of gay f- festivals and stuff over there. I don't know about that. I saw it online. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't I know. saw it in <laughs> Stockholm, the yeah. Stockholm yeah, leather it's party. Like a, like a pride it's a Stockholm, yeah. here we go, leather yeah. party. Yep, yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> saw it on the same day. website as the real lightsaber weapon. <laughs> yeah. So I, yesterday I, I read the newspaper in Sweden. One third Here, of take the each. mic so they can hear you. Yeah, okay. He's probably so, in the background the whole time. Yeah, I don't care. It's all right. So uh, I was reading the newspaper yesterday, and it turns out that one third of each uh, guy between 18 and 30 had never had sex the last year, like in a year ago. Like one, one third is they haven't sex. had sex for a year. Yeah. Isn't that strange? Like between 18 and 30? Not at all. Year? Not at all. Is it by choice? I don't know. It's just, uh, you know. Well, that's that's where porn's involved. Click and click. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's very interesting. What you guys but it's, I think it's very simple. It's porn. Yeah. Any kind of thing you can ever want to see is on there. I think it's sad. It is. It's very sad. It's very sad. I don't have kids. <sighs> You, no, you think that's sad? It's about kids, you know. It's, it's a good about, thing. You know, you know, meet persons and have a nice time. You know? It's probably reducing the number of STDs and unwanted pregnancies out there. Maybe yeah. it's a good thing. But you need wait to, till those robots come out. You need to counter what's happening. They're already out. And here's things. what's happening yeah. with the robots. What's going to make affordable? it worse? More of the third world, the shitholes, the porch monkeys, the lower intellect. <laughs> They're reproducing like rabbits. And there you go. You're going to have a, a majority of them, and then they're going to be really in power. And then those of our kind aren't going to want to even be around anymore unless drastic changes happen. That's what's happening. That's the problem. That simple. Like what kind of changes? What can possibly change that? Oh my God! I mean, that, there's you, no, there's no stopping that from happening. There's going to be pure, pure communism. Well, people don't want to change. Uh, there's going to be retribution. There's going to be cases where. You know, it happens already, like a certain amount of white kids, and Brad can attest to this because he came some stories about because he was forcibly integrated when he was a kid. I mean, where you get beaten unmercifully because you're a different color or whatever. It's already happening. And uh, pretty soon people can get killed and you know, because people don't talk. You know, it's very easy to get killed in one of their neighborhoods because no one's going to rat you out. Uh, 
It's just, it's a lower, I mean, they've, they've done studies on this. They don't have the intellect to be able to do things. That's the, the way they were made. I mean, that's a fact. I mean, not only the Germans did it, but the eugenics movement, as bad as they were, they also had some good points where they studied the sh people's brains and things like that. And, you know, it turns out that they unable to sustain a society and history has proven that. And now that they can't compete because they're mentally and physically, whatever, can't compete, now they play the blame game, racism. The rich, the greed, the racism. They give up because they can't win. So what they're gonna do is the population bomb. And believe me, haven't, people haven't seen nothing yet. And it's not gonna be nice. Trust me, it's not gonna be nice for anybody. Very few, a very small amount of people. You know, sure as to this day, it could be 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 50 years. But they're going to come back and listen to this, and they're going to say, wish they'll listen to me and others. So population bomb, like the population is going to go up of them? Yes, with the uh, physically and mentally inferior, especially the mentally. People that act on a, like, you know, like a lizard in one part of their brain, the limbic part of their brain, instant gratification, instant gratification. I want something, therefore I'm going to rob somebody, not care about any kind of consequences. I want to get high, don't have the money. I'm going to rob him. I'm going to rape her. I'm going to go and break in and steal. Instant gratification, no matter what happens. Lack of discipline. Doesn't we all work like that? Yeah, a lot of people of your nationality too are acting like that too. <laughs> no discipline you know and I admit there's times I've been doing it too I'll admit it yeah, acting yeah. like the acting like the lowest form of life using that limbic part of the brain only is there more of these not thinking before you do something basically you no know, because you're one of the instant gratification and I'm you know I'm guilty just as bad as an X man but I'm actually probably trying to change it right now like when you take that G no, you not at all. Instant, not at all. You want to instantly kick in? No, 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 no. When I go out to those places, when I went to Fort Lauderdale, when I went to those strip clubs, that's no release. That's just a horrible waste of time. And what's making you realize that now? Because at the time, there's nothing anyone could have said to you to stop you from doing it. You know, I came out, you know, just on my own after doing it a few times. I said, it's enough is enough. That's simple. Yeah. Enough is enough. The same old thing. Been there and done that before. Wasting money, wasting time. You know, possibly uh, all the supreme immune system. Big waste of fucking I wouldn't recommend anyone sure. doing it, but my immune system is better than 99.9% .9 of the people on this planet. Possibly, you know, acquiring some type of bacterial infection or disease. <laughs> yeah, no shit. It's just making your belly that big. Some kind of fucking worms in there or something. That's muscle, Brad. You're immune to everything because you live in fucking filth. <laughs> it's all right. Black mold. Is, there's nobody that would live in those conditions and not be sick all the time. I can't believe you're not sick all the time. It is. He definitely does have a strong immune system. In more ways than one. What are the other ways? I'm not worried about what people say or even give it a second thought. <clears throat> Have you read the, the, the Denial of Death? Say that again? Denial of Death. Have you read the Nile. Denial. Denial. Oh, Denial, Denial. of Death. Oh, Denial. No, I never read it. Denial. I'll look up it online tonight. Yeah, do that. Thank you. <laughs> You'll read it too. Really interesting book. Good. Yeah. I'm sure at the least they'll have the important it's excerpts. Do does, it have pictures? does it have pictures? He likes picture books. It's no picture. <laughs> it's just text. Did you hear what um, the WWE is doing? You heard about that. What was the name of that football league that just closed up? The AAF, Association of American Football. They closed? Right. Yeah, it's no. done. Shit. And Towards did, the end of the season. And did you hear that Vince McMahon is now offering tryouts to all those football players to see if any of them are good enough to make it in the WWE. Smart. He knew, he knew that was coming. Yeah. Well, or the XFL, no you mean, right? He's got no What's wrestlers. That? You mean yeah, the right. XFL? Yeah, no, to make it in the WWE. For wrestling. To yeah. wrestle. To wrestle. Because, you know, they're big football players. Of course. Yeah, look at so all the football players that carried over. 
Yeah, he's saying anyone who you know got shysted because of that can come and try out for the WWE. But what about the obviously the W the uh, XFL too, which is going to start next year? Right. Is it? Yes, yeah. he's took out. He sold a lot of stock. He's making so, sure that XFL is funded big time this year. So what happened with the alliance? How did that get wiped out? The owner of the XFL also owns the Carolina Hurricanes hockey team. Seven games into the season, I think they just, ran out of money. Yeah, that's it. People didn't get their checks. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. No shit. Well, who's gonna go watch that shit anyway? I mean, they're only paying, I think, seventy thousand the first year, eighty thousand the second year, ninety thousand the third year. Oh, okay. But then I heard a, a substantial there was, rumor. was what, eight teams? Yeah. yeah. Steve Spurrier's team, I guess, had the best record. He's saying, oh, I'm the champion. You know that prick is. Yeah, Orlando. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, XFL, just the NFL, it just, they, years ago, they started with the tradition. It's always been, you know, every holiday of Thanksgiving, it's the NFL, you know, the Super Bowl, the biggest event. It's so hard to break that into that market you know I, I honestly can't see it happening but it's just not so much you know the different play of football it's just people want the top see the top talent but if I was Vince I would not have PD testing not announce it but just don't bring it up so you may have running backs running a 4 140 or you may have Lyman running a four five forty, as they did when they were juicing, like back in the eighties. They should have a separate league of everything that can do yeah. whatever they want. <laughs> With Vince running yeah. it though, that'll never fly. He's for gonna be under extra scrutiny. Yeah, fuck it. He's a target. Yeah. Yeah. With his reputation. I was gonna say before though, trying out these football guys for WWE. Yeah, you might get some, but the best wrestlers, you know, they start because they have a passion for wrestling. You have some wrestling school. I said you wanted to be a wrestler worse than anything. Uh, yeah, I, I went to a school in um, Connecticut for a while. And, um, Killer Kowalski's? No, Paul Roma. Oh, yes. Yes, Paul Romeo Roma. Yeah. His nephew is actually Evan Sonopani, pro bodybuilder. His nephew's who? Evan Sonopani. Oh, wow. Fuck, you know this shit. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> How come you know so much about the strains of cannabis? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got me. <laughs> so, what ha- so what happened? Just I got kicked out of the school. Um, Why? One morning, I, I was a little fucked up from the night before, and they said that they were canceling... Um, my group's class to do the other group's class and the guy who sent the text out was like 55 so I said for what you're 55 like give it up you're old you're like you you know your time has passed and, <laughs> and um, he was like a, a, a Muslim guy and he would come out with an American flag and I would say you look Muslim and you're carrying an American flag your gimmick makes no sense I'm gonna light your flag on fire and use it to spark my joint <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they never let me go back after that. That's interesting. But it's wrestling. You're supposed to talk shit, so whatever. Well, you're there not to learn that aspect. You're there to learn how to... Right, right. So. Which I was really this... good at, but um, yeah, at that point in my life, I, I was uh, having a little too much fun, I guess. What age? 23, 24. After California? Yeah, after when I came back. Everybody there was all uptight and, um, you know, all disciplined. I was smoking a blunt in the in the back of the building before every class and acting like a man, <laughs> acting like a maniac. Hey, most so. wrestlers did. Yeah, right. That's what I th- I thought it was. <laughs> I thought it was part of the part of the uh, act. Who else was smoking with you? Myself. No, I would ask. Come on, let's go in the back. Let's go in the back and. And we're, no, no, the instructors are going to be here soon. I didn't give a shit. <laughs> Is it legal now here? Medically. Well, that's funny. Someone asked a question. Question for all of y'all. What is the highest you've been off any substance in the past recently? Those <laughs> dabs that Chris brought over put me in fucking outer space. <laughs> that shit <laughs> was yeah. fucking... Yeah too strong for me and it's too much work too what about you Leonard ecstasy and then two hours later gee (laughs) 
<laughs> I thought they meant off of. Was it recently or ever? Last yeah. year. What about you? We'd have to do a whole nother podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Eric? <laughs> Just some, uh, some, um, some weed from LA. I don't, don't even remember the name. Andrew? You know, in Sweden, we don't, you know, it's very hard to get real, you know, the real deal. For, for me, it was in Amsterdam when I was 22. Recently. I, yeah, he said recently. Recently? Oh. The highest I've ever been is in Amsterdam, too. Maybe the painkillers for your shoulder? Wedding cake. Yeah. Not yet. <laughs> it's coming. Oh, in Amsterdam, I had to be carried back to my hostel room. <laughs> I had one arm around one friend, one arm around the other. I know when. The party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Last Memorial Day. Uh, Dropping your dinner plate and falling <laughs> off the chair. Awful. Yeah. <laughs> Would you have in Amsterdam? A pot cookie or something? I, um, that and um, a big block of hash. I had never smoked oh, hash man. before in my life. Yeah. And, so we man. put a block of it in a bomb <laughs> yeah. and yeah, just took yeah. a huge hit. And I just remember everything turned purple, and we were in the street. And I'm like, I got to go back to my room. And just take me back and they just carry me off there, and I spent the whole day in bed. Wow. Yeah. Last time I smoked hash, I laid on the bed, and in my head, my life was flashing before me. And I was like, all right, this is it. Like, I Basically, really thought, yeah, yeah I same thought thing. I, I really thought I was dying. <laughs> and, and, and I was okay with it. I was like, all right, whatever, you know. Not a I, bad uh, way to go out. I kind of flipped my reputation over this year. I'm going out as a good guy. Not too bad. And I woke up the next morning and, and had to go to work. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only time I've ever smoked uh, a block of hash in my life. I, yeah, too much. Last time I ever did it. Yeah, I was high for like four hours off of one joint that I shared with three other people in Amsterdam. These Damn. kids, yeah. these Armenian kids, met us oh. fans. Yeah, he's like, I yeah, brought you the best, yeah, best weed in Amsterdam. Yeah. I said, all right, we rolled it, smoked. I was yeah. high for four fucking straight That's hours. I don't get how you put your mouth with the same three other fucking greasy Armenians. <laughs> no, I, I <laughs> smoked, it, smoked it with the people I was with. Not that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's such a fucking prick. They were nice guys. Were you and Andrew? Nice no, guys. No, no, no. Oh. Jesus Christ, Leonard. <laughs> Chris yeah. O'Toole's a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> that's one place. That's one place I'm glad I got to go to when I was young. You know, 21, 22, Amsterdam. Was it a nice place back then. Mm -hmm. Was Amsterdam yeah. was great. Yeah, yeah. 1994. Yeah. I spent two months. I traveled all around Europe. Yeah, I think Blenny should like it now because they have the blue blue light district. It's a lot of ten, ten, ten. So yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. Yeah, that's where he. That's what he asked me right when I came back. Did you go to the blue light district? <laughs> he knows about that. Never been there though. They're dancing. You'd the fucking window, love. So you can just pick. Yeah, you'd 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 never leave. No. They ride bikes everywhere. Bikes. Oh, yeah, they're right. Every fucking <laughs> Perfect. Way. No, you would love it. Smart. Yeah. Well, my prediction. The weather's shit, but. They got about 10 years before Sharia laws takes over that area, so. <laughs> then there'll be homosexuals thrown off buildings, <laughs> public hangings and beheadings. You think so? And women all. Oh, yeah. I'll cover it up. Why is or that? you're going down. If you want to have any type of relevant type of society left, it's bad enough they take the tax dollars, but when they're going to force to move in with you, they may even force you to have you live in, them living in your home, sharing homes. That goes on in communist countries. When Dale's ex-girlfriends fight, that's guerrilla warfare. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that was a non-cookie cutter comment. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a 
was a doctor. I think it was a doctor. He had a she had, uh, he had a he had a daughter, and he raped her, and he was uh, blaming that he, he was sleeping, and the <laughs> and he was you know it was free it was free to go. Well, like I always things. said, a woman yeah. should always be with her, either brother, father, husband. You never really should be alone. A woman alone, a hundred years ago in this country, are whores, and whores get raped. And back then, you think they're going to report that? <laughs> now you see girls going out. It just seems so to amaze me. They go out at night by themselves or with another girl. It's to me that's unbelievable. You think they deserve to get raped then? Nobody deserves to get raped. Okay, good. Yeah, you're gonna that clear. It, it's that's what that's how girls get raped. Put it that way. Taking guys home, they meet on Bumble or Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> That's all they need to do is, you know, it's fine, consensual, and then one night, oh, it's rape. Good luck. Yeah, it's her word against yours. It's not her word against mine. It's her word against yours. What's, uh, <laughs> uh, you call him Hamburg. But what, what, you call, is that a Freudian slip? No, but that's what he called, his name is Hamburg. Okay. Right? That's his last name, yeah. Okay. I knew it. No, what his first name is Bjorn. <laughs> Bjorn. It. Is it Bjorn? Bjorn, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, what's his opinion on Sweden? Sweden's situation. He doesn't want to speak out. He says he's going to get persecuted. Okay. What's, what's, what, he what spoke. He, he spoke only up until a certain point. He wouldn't okay. cross a line. So pretty much, it was nice knowing you. Yeah. <laughs> you know. You know who was very candid about a lot of things in Europe was Livia, Nate's girl, when including she was oral here. sex tape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, she opened up about Germany and yeah. the living. Hear yeah, that, Nate? Release the tape. She's <laughs> candid. You're not. You're a candid cookie cutter. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what are we talking about here? <laughs> I think this the situation in Germany is is, is quite the same as in Sweden. Uh, I think they have big well, problems. Is this yeah, a she, rape she, charge she penalties? Because I'm coming over there one year for rape. Shit. Olivia, here I come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leonard, what yeah. do you think about the actual alpha male who challenged you to a fight? Come in my face and do it. <laughs> Don't be like all these gutless cowards on the internet doing it. You hear that, Mr. Yellow Shirt? Mr. Nobody. Was he wearing a yellow shirt? In that the video? one in that video? The one in that video. He Is wants that some... Publicity and some of the claim, well, come in, you know where I'm at. I'm all right, fine, come in my face. That's all. <laughs> I know, we post where we're at. <laughs> oh, yeah, in the gym. Yeah, I remember that. Ask, Le ask Lenny what he thinks about Nipsey Hussle and what <laughs> inspiration and motivation. <laughs> Never heard of her, but they're treating him like he's a demagogue. It's enough to make you sick. He's all over the net. Every now, now everybody knows him. Bullshit. Nobody ever heard of the little, little guy, whatever. Well... That's, that's the world you're entering, Jason. Get shot probably by some jealous fuck, so. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's a big, he claims he's a big uh, philanthropist helping out the community. No, you're not. Look at the way you dress you, with your hair and your dope smoking and your tattoos. You're no help to nobody. You're the cause of the problem there. And you reap what you sow. Nipsey. I think he was a really, uh, like... He was very much into the anti-gang movement. He, was yeah, he, he, actually, he wasn't a gangster. No, he, he actually like worked with the police to try to clean up neighborhoods and rid them of gangs. Uh, really? Yeah. He's out there kicking ass with a... Uh, well, probably not, but... With a billy club? <laughs> Get yourself a nice clean-cut hair style, boy. <laughs> Go out there and you see, yeah, the, you see those scumbags on the streets. They Get the fuck in the house. I'm doing my own form of martial law. You can't follow the fucking rules. Fuck those lawyers. You gotta beat those fuckers down. You'll, you never see a bunch of whimper and cunts they are. <laughs> They're lucky because they think they get a lawsuit. They're real brazen. People are afraid of that shit. Well, they, they're the people that let that shit come out in, me, in that form. <coughs> beat them down. It's like his first time when they did the LA riots. They let them alone, they looted. Then the second time they say no. Bust ass. And those fuckers went in the house like a bunch of cockroaches. You didn't hear a peep out of them after that. Once those cops start clubbing people. They're all tough until they get their ass kicked and then they start saying police brutality. <laughs> now them and their bicameral mind. Get them the fuck out of here. 
they're not the same as me and hope to God I'm never like them again. It, that's what the new world government wants, everyone like them. You can control them so easy. You see how they catch a lot of them? They fucking say, oh, you wanted to catch the wanted felons. Oh, you want a free prize. Come and pick it up. They come in droves and they bring the sting on them and arrest them. So easy. Got no use for them. Cockroaches. They're probably worse than some of those ISIS people. If you ask me. And even uh, Hitler was saying that he'd never want to invade the United States because he said that First of all, you have a Negro problem there. And he says it's not worth the time and the effort. You got to clean up that problem. A lot of famous people have said that. You got a bad Negro problem and it's getting worse. And it is getting worse. Keep empowering them. Keep saying they're the victim. They're being treated unfairly. They're not getting the proper money. They're not getting this, that, and the other. I'm so sick of that shit. And you should be too, maniacs. You hear that, maniacs? Invest in Kool-Aid because they keep growing. <laughs> Feed them. Incarcerate them. Give them medical care. Let them reproduce. Jesus Christ. I mean, enough is enough. Oh. Somebody please come out and say it. <laughs> Quit pandering to them. Their illegitimacy. Start get the sterilizations going. Get the eugenicists going again. They said they were right. I hate to say it. Margaret Sanger, you were right. Who's Margaret Sanger? Yeah, where, <laughs> who the fuck is Margaret Sanger? She was the one that started all the abortion claims. She says a lot of these oh, inferior God. people really should be sterilized. And, <coughs> you know, the, their offspring is just, a, it's really destroying society. And it is. I'm just stating the truth. You well, can look it up on YouTube. What's the criteria for it's an so inferior serious. person? Is it IQ? What, what would be the, the it's criteria? It's IQ. It's their track record. Are they working? Do you have a rag in your pocket? Right. IQ, employment are you just, history. Um, are you just having children? Are you on welfare and food stamps and it's a never-ending generational cycle of never getting off? Are you also a criminal, which is tied hand-in-hand hand with food stamps? All the criminals that come out, they get food stamps. And, and hard-working citizens have to pay for it. Uh, when It's just getting worse. When's it going to stop? Is a politician going to ever have the balls to say anything? Well, I'm saying it. You're not a politician. Thank God I'm not, because politicians are cookie cutter. <laughs> I don't ever choose a term. Oh, like I'm Dale Chance. I'm a bodybuilder. I'm a sponsored Blackstone athlete. People ask me, what are you? A body? I said, I'm an ass kicker. How's that? It has con <laughs> convictions behind what I say. Speaking of the um, sterilization, they did an experiment in a town near me, New Haven, Connecticut, and that's, you know, uh, a real urban community or whatever you want to say, and they tested the tap water there, and they gave it to frogs, and all the frogs they gave it to turned gay. <laughs> so I understand. <laughs> so and so was fishing in that lake, and... Taking sailboat rides in there and swimming in there. I don't know the details. <laughs> Mr. I, Dan Barry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of frogs, when's Brad going to answer for the charges of putting M80s and firecrackers anus and frogs' anuses and <laughs> mouths and blowing them up? Uh, when I was a kid, we used to stick firecrackers in lizards' mouths, frogs' mouths. How did you grab a lizard in the first place, you liar? No, you can get them. You've never grabbed a lizard? They Is that a Freudian slip? PJ knows how to grab a lizard. <laughs> <laughs> What's that girl's name? Queen Cobra? Yeah. PJ's King Cobra. <laughs> <laughs> Come down here, Queen. We're waiting on you. She got pissed at you, huh? No, she actually... No, she likes, she likes the maniacs. What'd she get pissed at? I, keep, I say I'm going on her live and I go drifting off. She's falling asleep or something, but... Yeah, contact her, Maniacs, on Instagram. Get her down here. I believe she turned 21 recently. Happy birthday. Have you invited the DJ for the podcast? I don't think he would come out. <laughs> <laughs> you probably should after his in indictment. So, Lenny, okay. what would you do if you had like one million dollars? Square away my little dispute with the IRS. Number one, do some credit prayer. Number two, 
a sound investment number three with one quarter of that. Then the, another quarter I would do an aggressive investment. Which is drugs. And number three, I would, <laughs> I would relocate to a more sterile environment. Pay for Cali Muscles a gender reassignment surgery. <laughs> Doesn't take much with him. He's almost ready. He's almost there. Yeah, Cali Muscles drinking that frog water. I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so, Brad, you don't like Johnny Bravo singing or Jason singing? No. Who do you like? Leonard Person singing. You're a great singer. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else we got to cover tonight? Yeah, book cameo. If guys reach out to them, they're, I give a personalized message with Brad filming. They're a lot of fun. And they come from the heart. You'll like them. How many cameras do you do per day? We do about five a week on average. Okay. So what, Need to do what more. What people asking you about? Just generally, you know, birthday messages, usual cookie cutter things, engagements. Motivation, and, right? Some, yeah. He's yeah, like, I love I motivation. I don't normally say this, but happy birthday. <laughs> it's about as cookie cutter as it gets. I think it's pretty amazing that people like you. Really What's so amazing about it? No, Do you find me amazing? No, no, no. I mean, like, <laughs> that's what people, he's saying. You know, you have to build up a fan base, yeah. you know, and all the all the things around that, and, you know, people pay you for saying Well, they that. at least have half a brain, because from what I see, these cookie cutters all over the internet with these fan bases are enough to make you puke. Yeah. Name names, point fingers. Let's Nippy, go. let's go. <laughs> Nippy Russell. <laughs> Who's that? Nippy Russell. Never heard of him. <laughs> so you won't be attending his funeral then? <sighs> Couldn't get in the door. There's so many cookie cutters lying at the door. I heard they had a riot. They had a memorial on another, another shooting. The fuck people got to take out a gun for? What the fuck? They don't want to fight, Leonard. Well... I tell you what, those people too, like I referred to, you're go you're going down the tubes whether you like it or not, whether it comes from the right wing, the left, the Muslims or whoever, you're going down no matter what, because you're the weak link. You, the weak in society go down first, and that's you, dependent on the checks and the food, and the lawsuits and the oh I'm getting the retal oh my brutality, you're going down first though. So. Don't say I didn't warn you too. Change your ways. Start being a little more responsible. Quit being such a cookie cutter, number one. Go in every neighborhood and they talk the same, they act the same. How long have you been in Florida? Since 1990, 29 years. How have you seen it like, been changing? When I first came down, you know, it, wasn't, it was pretty slow, especially during the summer. Well, you saw Haitians with... Toyotas and Datsuns and Nissans. Now you see them with homes and expensive Mercedes, and that's the big thing I've seen that changed. Yeah. yeah. How about the like the boats? I see a lot of like luxury boats, like yachts and everything. A lot of rich people here. Yeah. Yeah. In Southeast. Florida. Rich, co rich cookie cutters. It's from Palm Beach County all the way down to Miami. Mm -hmm. a lot of I call money. this. You have some people with some money and some fortunes in the family, but. This is all 90% credit. Mm. People with a good line of credit need to show off. Mm -hmm. Rent this, rent that, you know, want to be seen. This is all, this is not real. <laughs> I think Back then, the, the people that had those things, those cars, they had the money. Mm -hmm. Now, what's, how many Mercedes Benzes do you see? Even for the blue collars, I see hey, Mercedes Benz all over, even the post. Postal service, there's a lot of Benzes in the parking lot. <laughs> in the employee section. Mm -hmm. It's all credit. It's all phony. It's all cookie cutter. Mm -hmm. This is all real. Well, yeah, you, these fucking million dollar mansions, they're not outright owned. Mm -hmm. Nothing's. These fucking people have the nut they got to pay a month for their cars, house, all that it's shit. It's some what image. You pay for a house in, uh, what do you call it? Um, Interest? No, the the percentage, like each month. Kimbo. Depends on your credit. Yeah. But between. Kimbo, you sure look healthy. Well, 
I mean, I don't know what. For a home now, it's like 4 or 5%. I think. Wait, no. Oh. No. It's very high. It's not yeah. worth it. We pay around one, one nine, two point dollars. Better off renting here. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But when you own, you have homeowner's insurance, you have HOE fees, you, you have it. maintenance. People think that they buy a house, it's just going to be an, a mortgage. It's not just a mortgage. And the you thing is, the worst thing is do is people don't realize it's passing their money down to their kids. It gets squandered. That just doesn't work anymore, that, that whole concept. It's not, a, not good. Can't do that anymore. Just give them that type of money. Bad <clears throat> things happen. Do you pay like uh, insurance for the um, tornadoes and everything? Yeah. 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 And like an extra option? Or well, insurance goes up. Every time a hurricane hits, it doesn't matter what part of the country it hits, insurance goes up. Yeah? Yeah. For everyone? Or? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know. They got to absorb it somehow. I mean, you yeah, know, I know, but car insurance, everything. So, so maniacs, the main thing is... It all starts with being a cookie cutter. Once you're a cookie cutter, your life loses control because that's not you. You're looking at this person, looking at that person, looking at this trend. You want to jump on the bandwagon. That's a good way to ruin your life. End up in prison, suicide, drug overdose. It's from being a cookie cutter. I mean, you know, you can drink and do drugs and stuff, but it sometimes it gets to the point where, hey, I don't feel like doing that anymore. And that's the point when you know you're done. And I know a lot of people that have done that and have successfully stopped doing that. And another thing, there's a most fantastic, I think Andrew saw it as well, about the dark side of mental, of psychiatry. One of the best documentaries, factual, I've ever seen in my life. I watched it last night. The dark side of, this, of psychiatry. The biggest fraud. That's what you Google? The dark side of psychiatry. I believe so. It's like a two-hour documentary. How oh, on just YouTube? How all the treatments and everything is the pills are designed. Okay, used to be you talk to a patient for an hour, you give them counseling. What do you get? A certain amount of money, but you can talk to that patient for ten minutes, hand them a script, yeah. Yeah, and how yeah. all you know being one of them and <clears throat> talking about all the things done in the past is just horrifying. And lobotomies where. A doctor would take an ice pick behind people's eye and just rip into that part of the brain. And that was the original way to make a lobotomy. And then they came up with a pharmaceutical alternative where someone would take a pill. I forget the name of the name of the drug they gave him, but it would just ruin you. Literally, horror stories. And how that's all about money. Talking about the inst- and then they're talking about, you know, this thing with the Baker Act, that's unconstitutional. That's not right. I mean, there's certain clauses where they were going to make a huge mental institution in Alaska and send people there against their will for whatever reason. You know, doctors saying this person can't take care of himself. So luckily they scrapped that idea, but it's still going on. And <coughs> horrifying. You'll never, ever want to go. And even uh, people that are psychiatrists talking about how much bunk it is it's nothing but nonsense and all the psych drugs and the biggest thing the biggest cookie cutter term on you hear this chemical imbalance yeah and they've never said what kind of chemicals you have a chemical bullshit <laughs> but well, the just, drug companies kick back to the doctors yeah. and then they show the shock therapies and it's horrible horrible put people you know, this is in the 1800s, and wooden boxes and dip them into pools of water to try to do something to the brain. Horrible, horrible. What treatment would you have gotten back then? Well, you know, they tried that on me and stuff, and my father wouldn't let him. I need to go see counseling. He's like, bullshit, and he was right. What, what age was that? 12 or 13. You know, and I'll say this, it's, you know, family stuff, but I'll say it. My sister's medicated to the hilt. She lives in a group home. She's taken so many meds. I don't even know what they are, but she's been doing that since she came to Florida. Now she's under court order for that. But when we were parents were married, my father, you know, he had her on vitamins, particularly extra vitamin B6. 
no medications she took and she was healthier she was much more intelligent she did things yeah she actually had her doing the dishes every night you know like any kid she didn't want to do them or whatever and he simply said hey he let her have a little radio he grabbed it he goes you want to do the dishes fine grabbed the radio took it out in the street says you don't do the dishes i'm throwing this up in the air and she did them with the radio back did you use the the warm and uh, the cold bath when you put down people in the cold and then the warm bath? Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's horrible, but definitely it's before the lob- lobotomy. Yes. Thing. Yeah. But it's definitely a must see, and it'll make you think about that garbage from here on in, which is just pure garbage. Once they plant that seed into you, another thing they they talked about those terms, which I said years ago, ADD bipolar this that and the other that's yeah. bullshit yeah. you Think keep so? telling absolutely these experts have said it on there yeah they do that from number one financially number two the mind control and to tell you the truth a lot of countries including you know nazi germany stalin and russia they used mind control to get the people to think a certain way they had psychologists in there Whenever those officials would give their speeches or whatever, so it's a hundred percent true. They put me on all that stuff, antidepressants, all that stuff. I went absolutely insane. You feel like you want to crawl out of your skin. They were saying. Well, yeah, but thoughts of suicide, the thoughts that I never would have ever in my life, ended up in the mental <laughs> hospital. What did they diagnose you as? Bipolar. <laughs> Bipolar. Yeah. Bullshit. And it all started with the, the Adderall <laughs> prescription. And then once that starts to make you feel fucked up, they say, all right, let's add an antidepressant. And then that made everything 10 times worse. I'm happier than ever now off of everything. Add the testosterone, a little bit of kratom here and there. Do your own research. and Don't listen to these doctors. They're getting paid for it. Um, That's the number one reason is to pay. Yeah. yeah number one. Yeah. Follow the money. I've yeah. told you that. Anybody in their the right money. mind would not prescribe somebody Adderall for five years straight every month. Especially children. My God. Yeah. It's meth. It's pharmaceutical methamphetamine. If you have the self-control to take it every you know, couple days a week when you have some, something to study for, or whatever, whatever, do your own thing. But um, yeah, it's horrible shit. Completely toxic. And any maniac, my advice to you is... I know many of you were given those labels. Do the research on the labels and come to your own conclusion. I bet you agree with yeah, me and the experts. Different that's bunk. Shit. Yeah, right. The bipolars and this and that. That's bull shit. And that'll ruin your life. Even the 80s. You know why? The thing was that they said the whole time of the documentary, <clears throat> nobody, out of all this, nobody was ever cured. Right. They don't want you cured. They want you coming if back. If it's a disease month. like heart disease, yeah. that can be cured. This, no one was ever cured. Big racket. It's all bullshit. Even Tony Huge says if you got to do drugs here and there to, to fight the depression, do it. But don't do any, any prescription shit. Something they give you, a one-size-fits-all? Right. Shit. Well, like Andrew was talking about, getting those pain medicines, you know. It's yeah, easy to yeah. get addicted to that shit. Even if you don't have an addictive personality, you can get addicted to it. Yeah. And they all have a set of medicine in it, which I don't know the exact <laughs> science behind it or whatnot, but a set of medicine blocks some the pleasure centers in your brain. That's so real it, nice. Yeah. So you can't feel great on it, but I'm sure you still, you know. Painkillers still make it addicting. <clears throat> it was on Joe Rogan's podcast where I first heard it said, um, Money's favorite podcast. <laughs> it said, um, depression cure that nobody talks about. And a guy was on there talking about testosterone. I got my levels checked. I was low at the time. And um, the doctors didn't want to give it to me because I was too young. So I started doing it myself. As an hurt you, you're a big, healthy guy, strong. Fountain of youth testosterone for sure. Is it easy, easy to get to like a prescription from a doctor here? From yeah, if your levels are low, sure. Yeah. You might start picking some absurd categories on Pornhub, but hey, it's not too bad of <laughs> side effects. <laughs> That's the G. All right, let's wrap this shit up. I'm starting to feel buzzed.
<laughs> Do we want to answer any of these questions? Did you read any of it? No. I've been preoccupied huh? the last 25 minutes. Drama. Yeah. Let's see. Go ahead, Rob Zilla. See if there's anything in there you want to in answer. In where? You should send live so people can, like, you know, interact with you guys. No, nah, they try to call me on Snapchat. Right, I'm okay. not answering that shit tonight. Misfits what? Instagram, the question's there. Oh, just on the page? Yeah. Good antidepressant is bury your face in Queen Cobra's <laughs> ass. That's right. Get some pussy. That'll snap you right, right out of that shit. About. Go get laid and stop trolling people. Yeah, they, they keep think, they keep say they somebody made up a whole report on Reddit that I'm an undercover CIA agent here to investigate Blackstone Labs. <laughs> What's no, up, that's Reddit that Rob. Wouldn't surprise me. Reddit Rob. <laughs> you knew uh, all the background of so and so, Danbury. Yeah. You just actually came from Danbury, <laughs> getting all the information up there. Where you live, where you People say I'm PJ's half the, brother. Latest picture? Yeah. Oh. Huh. Anything else you want to talk about, Leonard? Yes, Christine, I love you. I best feeling I ever had, really. Is just looking at your pictures, that smile. What a You're great like, feel. Ask Lenny how to find life's purpose. What's life's purpose, Leonard? How do you find it? You get out there and start doing stuff. Like what? Making money, starting a family. Doing things, do think, thinking of things. Yes, thinking of things, how you can do. Cookie cutter things. Learn get a car, no, right? no, no. Mr. I, I'll never have a car. I got a car now, cookie cutter. Well, it's, it's, <laughs> well, it's, it's, a, it's a work car. It's not a... No, I know. So if you were like one years old, how do you want to organize your your life? Like well, I'm sure only want to do it over. But number one, I wish I had the goals set earlier in life. That's all. You know, they get sidetracked, but a lot of it's just you got to follow through with things. And you know, back in the day, a man's word was a man's word. You got to have what's lacking in society today yeah, is the old fashioned things like character. You know, paying your rent on time, paying a debt on time. You know, say you're going to do something, you do it. And uh, that way, if you're following the rules, when a girl would ever start shitting on you, you know it's how to treat her, you know. You can never, they say, oh, you got to take care of yourself. Or, no, you have to develop character in yourself first. And like I said before, if you're not willing to die for something, you shouldn't be able, there's no reason to live. And quite frankly, you guys are a few years away well, from no, needing well, you to You've got to make yourself happy and don't depend on other people to make you There's happy. There's no such thing as happy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Again, happy and fun are... No. You want to be in misery. That's not a, a viable thing either. You're on, you're you on, you're on life to you live. Just, you just are. You're on life to live. Okay. Living requires, obviously, gaining uh, hydration and food rest and protecting yourself just like at the basic level so have you been happy like sometime in happy what's yeah. that mean no, I'm, yes or no no because i don't fo i don't follow that i don't use that word i was never brought up to use that word no but you know what, uh, what word if i set mean, a goal and i achieved it that gave you that fulfilled your purpose temporarily mm -hmm. but there's always moved on something example? you know in little league baseball and such you know pitching a perfect game mm -hmm. things like that uh Putting size on in the gym, you know. Uh, Going down to Broward Boulevard. Helping people. Uh, helping people that were still on the road. A girl got beat up one time in the neighborhood. And I actually, you know, the great race to myself, got the guy away from her. She's beating her up on the driveway. You know. So why do you do this podcast thing? Well, it's a good reason to get out and talk amongst ourselves and learn. I learned from the podcast. You know, I may have a um, you know big mouth sometimes, and but basically, I learn a lot. Mm -hmm. You don't really learn much by talking, more by listening, and I do that actually more than I talk. But <laughs> but I think you enjoy the podcast. Uh, that's not. No, it feels like 
You know, I, actually, I could be doing a lot better in it, but, you know. In what way? More education, doing more research, bringing more things, subjects to the table, more knowledge on it, you know, less talk about cookie cutter stuff. You know, I mean, if it's funny, people like it, it's fine, but got to go for the important things. People let the important things slide and they want to go into. What's important? Establishing a family and a future and a way of life for the country where your money's going to have value. It's not going to be, you know, inflation occurring where all that hard work is scammed away by somebody, investor, or, or by the government with taxes, which is what's happening. The biggest scam known to man, they get away with it. People are infringing on your rights. You know, things like that. Allowing law, lawlessness to go on, you know, like people coming illegal. That's a law. And, and as people say, that's that's acceptable to break laws. Why is it acceptable to break that law? You know, and they sent many people back at the turn of the century. And this People thought, oh, Ellis Island, people were just coming. People were turned back on the brink of death. They were sent with children, sent back. Oh, you're No, you're not coming in here. You got a disease. Your ass is going back to Ireland or whatever shithole at the time was over there. You know, people don't seem to understand. It's this propaganda from these lazy fucks that want other people's money. That's basically what it is. If you're not smart enough to have your own money, it's one thing not giving a fuck, but another thing, you want money, and you, but you, talking about the rich, well, anybody could save in this country. Don't tell me that. Even me, I could have. Did I know? Not, not certainly not to my as I should have. Takes discipline. It takes character. Again, talking about that, you know, people that think, you know, those types of people that think like that. I'm not talking about race. You know, people. Oh, I want to get high. I want to get laid. I want to jerk off. Whatever. I want to f fuck a four year old. You know, it makes me feel good. Well, you have to pay the consequence. And in your country, that's pretty fucking sad. Yeah. What do they give to people fucking four-year-olds over there? Two years? Uh, maybe. Unbelievable. They're enabling it. Enablers. That's what we are to Jason, fucking enablers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one story I didn't say tell about Jason. He was complaining about neck pain one day. As he was driving me nuts, so I gave him a trazodone, a sleeping pill, and I said, this will take your neck pain away. Passed out for eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> have any more? We yeah, can no slip shit. them in his drink in the right. gym. <laughs> yeah, I have more. I have um, That lady I went to see in Indiana gave me a bunch of them, and I was going to take them, and then once I got back to his house, I figured that would be a great use for him. Well, real quick, you care to tell me about the... The expectations of the woman in Indiana and what actually happened? Yeah, what happened with that? You told me you were going to say. So I met, this, I met this lady two years ago in Massachusetts, and um, I've been talking to her since. She was married at the time, so we didn't do anything. And then um, I was planning to go out there sometime this year. Her, her recently ex-husband took the kids on vacation last week. So she said, now is the perfect time. Even though you just moved to Florida, I'll fly you out, this and that. I get there, she gained 50, 60 pounds. <laughs> Easily. It was so bad. It, even though I'm on test and shit, she came out in lingerie, and I just said, like, no, get off of me. No. Like, <laughs> so what did you do? Is stay at a hotel or something? No, no, I stayed with her. I mean, the first day that I got there, I did it twice, and I, you know, I was just like, oh, whatever. <laughs> I felt like a girl. A girl, you know how a girl's like, no, I'm not in the mood right now, and they, they give it up, and then they're like, all right, that'll buy me a day. That was my situation there. I would do it once, and I would be like, all right, good. Maybe this will buy me till Tuesday. And then Tuesday comes around, and yeah, it was How painful. long was the trip? Uh, like Saturday to Thursday. Ooh, so I got off the plane and I see her, you know, waiting for me at the baggage claim. And I'm like, what the fuck? You want like, to run back on that plane? Yeah, right. <laughs> oh. and not only that, I left Florida to go to Indiana. You know, so that, you know, you'd only do that for a special reason. And then you go there and see that. It's like, wow, what the fuck? Did you say anything to her? Well, you can't really, you know, you can't really. But she told me before, she's like, maybe we should wait until 
I have a few months to dye it, and I thought she was just being a girl. I was like, oh, you probably just being... Like, Sounds like Dale Chance here. Yeah, right, right. So I was like, oh, you, you know I don't care about that type of thing, which obviously bullshit. Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah. Dale should put on some lingerie when he's all big and fat. <laughs> Post them on Instagram. <laughs> You'd love to see that. You say fuck. Everyone would. Yeah. Is that what your girl says, Dale? Not in the mood today? Have you asked Jason's girlfriend to be on a podcast? Say again? Have you asked Jason's... A couple times, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I don't think she's going to do it. I talked to her about it. She seemed open to it. Must be him. She's got nine job, nine job. Nine remember, jobs. remember in Living Color when they had the, that skit with the Jamaicans? Oh, I got home, I got nine job, man. My brother got ten job. Yeah. <laughs> she's got, if, she's got my number. If she wants to come on, she can reach me. Simple as that. Yeah, you know, she, we're not very I, I'm, consistent. I'm done. Either. You know, yeah, I've reached out to her a few times about it, and she wants to come on. She can let yeah. me know. Simple as that. Didn't you mention? Jason yeah. told me he jerks yeah. off to her her porn videos. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I swear. No, he told no, me that. No, I swear. No, no, no. no, no. Yeah. So, so it's just girlfriend, but it doesn't. Yeah, that's crazy. And he te- he texts her. So maybe in his doesn't. mind, he actually is fucking her because yeah. he, you know, yeah, he knows probably. her person. And he's tra- <laughs> right. he is fucking her? And he, you said he texts her what? No way. He texts her and he tells her about it. He, he says, "I'm going to no, watch your no, videos no, tonight," no, and she no, says, no. "Enjoy." Well, she's probably had hundreds of thousands of men's jer- men jerk off to her, so. Yeah. Well, I'm going to ask her that question. How does that make you feel? <laughs> <laughs> That's so bad when you call a girl your girlfriend, but she won't fuck you, but yeah, you have right. to jerk off yeah, to a porn is, video of her fucking another guy. Usually, what, what, what do you expect? What do you expect from that fucking never, him, right? You can't make that up. <laughs> Oh, that's Jace. That's hey. The conveyor belt, the ship keeps rolling. What's next? <laughs> like that's not the friend zone. That's like the friend black hole. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anything else, Gee. Leonard? No, I just want to say, everyone. Uh, I'm looking at hopefully just meeting Christina one of these days. And All right until until the yeah. next podcast, which we don't know when it's going to be. Whenever we can. Hopefully Somebody this, help. this year. <laughs> whenever, whenever we can. This is beyond the reach of even the great Adam McLeod, the modern day Winston Churchill. So I need special help for Christina. Somebody please help. Somebody over in Italy. now. You usually don't even talk about her anymore. She's out there. Just, you know, somebody's got to help. Maybe one of her students or whatever. She's a teacher? Yes. Uh, and what? Does Christina have a, like a real Instagram? Like a real, real it's Instagram? old. There's nothing updated on it. That was all from back know. in the day. She has a Facebook, but it's back in the day. The the trolls fucking ruined her. Yeah, they're on a, they're, our trolls are. <laughs> well, on you can ruin world. her and you can yeah, get her for me. It. So that's yeah, it. trolls. I you you guys owe me. Whoever did that, somebody help. You'll be world famous. <laughs> all right, get Cuntalini here quick. <laughs> uh, you know, be a big a picture fuck. of. Citizens around pointing them. See what this fucker got? Do it, and you're getting the same. Like they did back in North Carolina. At least one thing about the chance film, I don't think they put up with that shit. 